Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen a load bar done like that before. Wake up. What? Wait, what? Oh, we're just in. Hi. Roast a marshmallow. Oh, that's not a marshmallow. That's a... A gun? No, it's a... What the hell is that guy? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Got to put it up there, dude. Everybody knows the marshmallow has to be done up there. No, 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 no. Too much. It's going to be up there. Like above, and then just slowly cooking it. Why is my hand so weird? Am I one of those guys? Why am I blah? Did I not cook it right? I'm one of those, dude. I look like- a Oh god, I got like frog hands. I guess that was tasty. What? What are you? Oh, oh. Oh, I don't like- I don't like that. There's our pilot back from your free launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Um... You sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Alright. Hmm. Wait, that requires the launch codes. Okay, I can jump. Jumping is cool. Oh, I have to hold it to jump. That's weird. What is that? That's kind of neat. Why does it say it's increasing in speed? It says the amount of meters away. It's a little bit weird, right? Hello, hatchling. Wait a minute. Hey, you're leaving us to seek adventures among the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure among one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Yeah, let's do that. What is this? <laughs> the shadow, dude. Iron stomach is the mark of a true Harthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Alright. Let me in! I can't get in it. Wait, maybe I can get in it. And that's the game! I did it. I did it, Chet. I didn't expect there'd be a bunch of things down there. But, uh, there are, and I died. I'm dead. I managed to die. Well, there's actually- look, the credits are rolling. We beat the game. We've done it. Well done, everyone. Well done. 100%. 100% completed. Fantastic. Incredible, really. Does it actually go back to the start? 
Do I just start over from the beginning? Wait a minute. What is that? Planets don't sing. What is that? Hmm. Ah! What? Why were there four... Because I have four eyes, so there was four burning... Four burning things. It was weird. I'm glad I died so fast. Your four eyes goblin? True. Actually true. Oh, oh, oh. Everything is moving. These can't be things on our planet. It's gonna be something elsewhere. Hi. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. I died, don't worry about it, it's fine. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it? Yeah, let's do it. Dude, look at it. Here are the rules. Galen and me will hide with these radios and use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Oh god, it's so weird to see my eyes closed like that. That's much better. I wanted to hide the observatory, but Hornville said I was making a nuisance of myself. I feel like I'm just gonna die again. Why, hello. Thanks for playing with us. Why is he so tiny? All right. Wait. The sun is making sounds. Everything has harmonics. Interesting. So, everything in this world has harmonics to it. The planets... Radio signals, all of it. Really interesting. And there's also... What appears to be people... In other locations, because that's far away. That's, it's, it's moving. Interesting. Hello, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any other travelers up there, remind me... Remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chert's drums, Ribic's banjo, and Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. I just heard all of those. Those Feldspar has been missing for a long time. It seems... Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. You hear music in space. That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope to track them down. I just heard them, though. They're flying away from us. Weird. 
Oh, hi. God, these, <laughs> these creatures are really creepy. <laughs> the four eyes freaks me out, dude. So it's launch day, huh? How's gonna miss you? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? The big tree in the village would be perfect. Be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program, just say the word. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I was just thinking it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? You would. You definitely would. I don't even know you and I know you would. Oh god. He's got droopy ears. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more often than they used to. What is this? Use satellite camera. Projectors link to our sky shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. All right. So if I spam it... Ta-da! Oh, that's really neat. Because we can see the entire planet this way. Spam it 60 times a second? You mean like that? Is that what you want? It's pretty good. They're orbiting us. That one's getting closer. Ah, oh, we need these. Is this going to be launch codes? Pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural sp flight to space. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Interesting. Is there anything else I can interact with? Well, we've got our satellite camera picture. Hmm. We already talked about this. I don't think I have the launch codes. Interesting. Let's go up to the observatory. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Sings, singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll all be a little busier without you to lend a hand. That big water planet, Giants Deep. That's somewhere I'd go. What is that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down, on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabbro couldn't get any further. Tell me more. I will. I was just pausing dramatically. <laughs> As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it was trying to protect him from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Was there sap wine involved during Gabbro's campfire story? Come to think of it, don't you have somewhere you should be exploring that isn't here? Rude. Rude. Is the music too loud, guys? 
I don't know how it is on your end. No? Alright, good. A bit? Just a bit too loud? No, it's fine. Music is never too loud? Man. What is this? What is that? Interesting. Huh. So it can see some kind of light. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with the camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. I mean... I mean... Wait, wait. What? 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 There's a little man on that moon. What is this, dude? There's so many things here. Also, Jack the Dipper, thank you for gifting that tier one sub. You're awesome, dude. There's so many... Look at the smoke coming off the moon. It looks ridiculous. You're telling me Starfield can't have planets? Insanity. Let's talk to Moraine. Oh, hello, astronaut. It's good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency, so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Remix Banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. So that means that different planets have their own sounds, but then also they have different orbits. What is that one? There's also weird stuff out there. Like those chunks of magma or whatever that is. There's the banjo. Interesting. Oh, wait, wait. Small, I saw smoke coming from Youngbar Crater up north and figured it should go check it out. You can use your scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Okay. So we can see this whole planet. Boom. I love the camera system. Was it going to hit? Oh, totally hit. I actually really like the camera system. Oh, wait a minute. There's like some ruins that way. That's interesting. Huh. Let's leave that pointing in that direction, just so I know where that is. No, my ruins. Oh, hey, cool. Quantum Grove Crater. Geyser Mountains. Young Bark Crater. Interesting.
We need those launch codes, man. Oh, God. All right. It wasn't lying. Ghost matter bad. Oh, hi. Thought I might see you before the big launch. Mm. Like you weren't nervous before your first flight. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endlessness of space. He's got three eyes. He's missing one. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about that ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down to the lift and into the cave. Or don't, as long as you're confident you can make up the ship repairs in space. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Because I have no idea what that feels like. Ooh. Oh. Wait, what? Something's on this planet. It's not moving. And it's really close. See? I'm not in space. I'm in a cave that mimics space. Okay. Wait, how do I use that? Okay, there we go. I understand now. Does the fuel recharge or no? No, it doesn't look like it does. Nice of you to drop down. I'm getting some zero, zero G time in. Oh, who is this? So cute. Little mouse. Little mouse. It's mouse. Look at her. Look at her. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're so good. How are your ears? How's your face? What do you want to do? You want to be tall? Wow. She loves being tall. What are you doing? You want to look at my desk? You want to be a hacker? Hacker ferret? Yeah, yeah. I can't have you on stream for too long because then Twitch will get aroused. That's what happened last time and they deleted our emote. Oh. Dude, you're so cute. Mouse is good. Mouse is super good. You going in there? In the cave. Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great. Great and fine. You don't look fine. What happened last time with Twitch? Uh, Twitch deleted our, our emote of a ferret waving its butt because they said it was sexual and it, it had it had no features in fact it had less features than Winnie the Pooh so <laughs> you know it's great well, you know I hate the cave so I don't know why you're making me talk about it and what are you doing in here now I've got hand sweats alright this guy's got you know he's got stuff going on I do want to find out where that signal's coming from There's definitely some kind of a signal nearby. It's up. It's right over there. Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is...
How do I hold this match velocity? How do I actually fix this? There we go. Nice! Oh god. This seems like incorrect. I have to get the hang of space, Chet. I like that you can just hold in match velocity. That's actually really nice. That's two dead. Or two down, rather. Not dead. Lol. Uh, it looks like there's one more over that away. Or not? Where is it? Where's the last broken bit? There's something red over here. Maybe it's this? Maybe it's this? Doig Swift! How are you doing? Thank you for the rating party of 90. And go to a train, thank you for the tier 1 sub. I'm trying to find the last broken bit. I don't know where it is. I've just started playing Outer Wilds. I have not played this before. I know nothing about it. And I hear electrical crack like I see there's red right there, but I don't see... I don't see anything. Maybe it's up top. Oh, it is. Okay, there we go. Got it. Yeah, I mean, the absolute best place to play it. Yes. I have never played this before. I've never watched anyone play this before. I don't know anything about this whatsoever. At all. Looks like that's the way back out. The simulation's complete. I actually really like the anti-gravity movement. It feels very good. Ow. Oh, God. Alright. Well, I'm not dead. So that's good, right? That seems fine. You know anything about the game either? Did you just start? I did. And uh, so far, I've died once. Which is great, frankly. I feel like that was probably a really good use of a life, is jumping into a geyser and drowning to death. Oh! Yeah, I jumped into a geyser and drowned to death. I have a... I have a gun that lets me tune into radio frequencies, which there's a dude over there. And I can hear him, but I can't reach him. That one's moving. See how it says unknown and it's moving the amount of meters away? This one is close and it's not moving. But I've completed my objective, which is to fix that thing. It's a fantastic game. The Beginner's Guide is a fantastic game. Beginner's Guide is a fantastic game. Legitimately. That is one of my favorite games that exists. Maybe it's down inside of the Zero-G cave? I don't know. I want to find that guy. Maybe it's not possible. Thank you for the 100 bits. Ferrets are fantastic. Another play a blind game? Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you for the tier 1 sub. That's very nice of you. You rock, dude. Yeah, I'm playing this completely blind. I don't know anything about it. I finished this dude's task. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space. But just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you, got it? 
All right. I'll try not to die. Come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I've got zero G training. If you want a refresher, okay? So we did the zero G training. That's done. Have mods played this already? I have no idea. Yeah, if you try to throw spoilers or hints in chat, I am intentionally ignoring you. Do you have mods around to remove messages containing spoilers and hints? I'm doing a different thing than that. I do have mods around. However, Kruzik, what I've been doing, instead, is just simply ignoring chat. Which has been quite funny for me. And eventually will slowly enrage people as they believe that I do not care about them. And I find that to be very funny. So I'm going to do that instead. <laughs> I know some of you, I can always read your messages. But some of you, I simply will not. Yeah, ignoring chat's the funniest thing on the planet. My favorite is when someone tries to spoil something, and then I don't pay attention to them, and then they're like, he's ignoring me, and they're right. You also did the guys you're thinking your first play? Yeah, I literally jumped into it and instantly died. It was quite funny. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members, clockwise from top left. Hornfills, Gossin, Slate, and Feldspar. All right. Their eyes are so creepy. It started to grow on me, though. What is... What is that? This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. It looks like a goat. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. They're like a deer or a goat. No frequencies. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Oh, jeez. Do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. And I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I am excited. I'm excited. Outer Wilds viewers are generally the, amongst the most, uh, the best with regard to not spoiling things. Some games are like that. Because experiencing a game, experiencing a game that where you don't want it spoiled, is a special thing. It can only happen for you once. You know? And when you have the answer to that already and you want to give it to another and you know you're so excited about the game you want to give it to another person you don't because when you try to do that it ruins that experience for them oh and by the way uh commodore i see you did uh text to speech i can't hear it i have it turned off on my end for this stream you can hear it i can't hear text to speech today get on i turned it off so no you can't spoil me that way either so what's the dirt you here to see the new Nomai statue? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. I mean, we we're kind of like a weird leathery frogman. You know, I don't know. I don't know what we are, but yeah, this is the first fully intact statue ever found. You know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, have your ship to lunch. Take care of yourself out there. You hear? Really interesting race of creatures, aren't we? We're nearly ready, Felix, and I have finished construction. And she says calibrating the device won't take long. They speak in spirals. Fortunately, the Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. That's really interesting. It's really an interesting language. I 
like that. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Oh, it's our Rosetta Stone. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. So it's a conversation. It's not just text. It's a conversation. I like that. That's very interesting. It's like a cultural thing. future side of our next exhibit. If you enjoyed your time with Outer Wilds, please consider supporting our planned museum expansion. Our quest to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support, and we hope to see you again soon. The way that I see this so far is that this is the initial idea, right? And then this is an offshoot from another person in response to that. If we had another one that was an offshoot from this one, it would be in response to the original idea. So it's a discussion like a thread, like a like a board, right? Like a forum. And you're just doing replies to each one of them. At least that's how it looks like right now. I think that's cool. Aside from dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? <clears throat> These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further xeno-archaeological archaeological expeditions. Interesting. Oh, they have bones from them. What do you see here are parts of Nomai's skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomai Nomi Nomayan ancestors. It's not clear whether the Nomai originated from, or where the Nomai originated from, or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. What do you do when you find an ancient race of beings or the things that they left behind and they're nowhere to be found anymore? Like, imagine if we did that. Imagine if we found the remnants of aliens, but they were millions of years dead. It's kind of depressing, right? The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to our Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Technically, dinosaurs are aliens? Imagine if dinosaurs were technologically more advanced than us. And that's super interesting, right? This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. That's, that's got technology or magic in it. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was mo most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. What? Oh, boy. That makes me want to just vomit a bit. Oh, God. No. Let me, let me try that one again. Okay. All right. Not throwing up yet. Oh, God, I have weird hands. I don't want to look at those. All right. All right. This crystal was taken from... Wait, wait. It's the same. It's the same. Hmm. Those are the runes that we saw using the scout. There they are. What? Man, I really... Is that out in space? Is that a space thing? This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. How about we just... How about we just not have that at all? Just ever. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's grim. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron, and then it, then it dies. Iron is the death of a star. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. 
As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Yeah, it goes hydrogen, helium, carbon. What are all the steps for it? Our sun generates light and heat by fusing hydrogen and helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. So it goes hydrogen, helium, carbon. I don't think it's carbon and then iron, is it? Eventually it becomes iron and then it's supernovas. But I think there's some other steps in there. I might be wrong. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? It's gravity. The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Hydrogen, helium, carbon, oxygen, if you recall correctly. Carbon, oxygen, iron. I was going to say, there, I think there's another step in there. But once it becomes iron, it's over. That's supernova time. Because it, it's stable. It can't be fused again. Ends up being a problem. Just, you know, it's super dense. Right, let's go out this way. What is... Bruh. What are you? What are you? Wait. Was there two? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize that there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. It is. Okay. It's a superposition stone. I like that. A little bit of superposition. I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit. That's too much. Well, now what? I know we were supposed to come up here and get the launch codes, but I don't think I got the launch codes. I think I interacted with everything, didn't I? Oh wait, what is this? Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Oh, are these... These are actually like... Oh, that's cool. That's a cool thing to do. Yeah, Kickstarters. That's awesome. Outer Wilds Ventures, Timber Hearth's first and only space program, was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Bellsbar was the first Harthian to be intentionally launched into sp intentionally <laughs> launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timberhearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, Adelrock. Okay, let's go up. Whoa, okay. All right. All right. What is... What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? There's something weird out there. Something with a very elliptical and strange orbit out there. Oh, it's not elliptical. It's actually just a spherical orbit. It's just an offset one. It's a little bit weird. What is that? That has some serious localized gravity around it. You see that? It's warping space-time around it. What is that? And it doesn't move. Huh. I feel like when I fall into that, I'm going to die again. Okay, there's some kind of a station spinning around the sun. That's a thing. Alright. Neat. This is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in the image is moving away from us. 
In fact, the further a galaxy away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. Yeah, it's wild. Humanity had that exact same realization once. What is that? Oh, it's more marshmallows. That's funny. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai translator tool. I confess, I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Alright. I want to learn more about the Nomai, yeah. I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if, it, if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We've barely scratched the surface of the Nomai writing in our solar system, so we still know very little bit about them. Or very little about them. We've no idea if they originated here or traveled here, or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. Let's do it! Launch codes. Good luck out there, and let me know if I can help you with anything. Well, we know space is big. Actually, wait, can I interact with this? Launch codes are in the bottom left corner. That's actually really interesting. It's like a writing system we haven't seen yet. Dash dash pipe. Oh, what? What? Uh, wait, that's everything that I just did. Excuse me? Did he just... Wait, where is everybody? The guy that was standing there is gone. Okay, you're here. Get a good look at that Nomai statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. The statue was doing what? Its eyes open, and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? No, that statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfield's tried everything to get the statue's eyes open, and nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabbro said they were going to going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know much. Uh, don't know which island they're on, though. Okay, so there's an island on Giant's Deep. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gabbro's, you know, Gabbro. So maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. That was some weird shit, dude. That was some super weird shit. Why did it take my memories? Judy, thank you for the tier one sub. It took, like, a copy of everything that I had done. And the thing that was interesting, it was actually a recording of what I had done in sped up time. So it wasn't like pre-canned images, it was actually what I did. I like that. What's up, dude? It's time. Thank you for the tier one sub. It's very nice of you. You rock, dude. And by the way, chat, we have over 350 partner plus points for the month. Thank you very much. That's two months in a row. If we get it again next month, Twitch will give me a 70-30 split for an entire year. So thank you. You're awesome. Bah! Bah! 
Oh, it's one of these. Okay, so it's the weird localized gravity thing. Cool. I feel like putting on my spacesuit is a good idea. Let's view that ship log. What entries do we have? We have an entry for the Zero-G cave and the village that I was in. No, my text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device in Adelrock. Okay, let's go do that. Rumor mode. Oh, wait a minute. No, my text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of thing on Adelrock. How says Gabra went back to Giant Steve? Okay, so I can actually... Like Pepe Silvia board myself a bunch of rumors. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. What? 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 I can just go? Oh shit! I actually have to get out of the gravity. I'm going to do it. All right. Well. That's the Dark Bramble. Hollow's Lantern. Brittle Hollow. The Interloper. What is that? I think it's going behind. Ember Twin, Ash Twin. Oh, that's weird. Oh, space is super weird. There's Giant Steep. What is that? What are you? I wonder if I could land on that thing. I wonder if I can. It's kind of an interesting thing. I like this a lot. What is that one? Ashwood is super weird. So the idea of having a planet that is like bound like that is very interesting. There's our sun. The whole thing is slowly rotating as well. We're kind of like moving with gravity as we do this. seem to be making a new sound. Very strange. Doesn't appear like I can land on it. Maybe I can. Maybe not. Interesting. Cool. Let's go over to Timber Hearth. No, I'm not restarting Windows. I swear to God, Windows. Nobody likes you. Windows like, hey, do you want to do a restart? I really want to do an update right now. No, no one, no one likes you, Windows. Now 
Now, where's that moon? There it is. Let's go this way. Getting towards it. A little bit up. Wait, why am I going away? I'm pressing forward. Well, all right. I guess we'll just catch it on the way around. That's, that's fine. I should have hit space. That's what it is. I was pressing forward to try and go after it. I guess I just wasn't doing it fast enough. I have to remember to hit space so that I can normalize my orbit or like normalize my speed with the target. That's the problem. See this right here when I hold space? That normalizes the speed. And it doesn't quite look like it's working. There we go. Now we're getting closer. I'm going to try and land on the outer rock. if I want to land on it in there. That seems like a bad idea. How do I land? How do I land on it? Because I'm definitely not landed. C, landing mode. Oh. I am landed. Alright. The moon. Oh god, this is terrifying, actually. Oh. oh! I think I should get closer to that building because I don't know which direction the building is. And I feel like I might run out of oxygen. Wait, wait, wait. We found the we found the thing. There it is. That's the flag from where those other people landed. Wait. What? How are they? Are you just out here, my dude? What? Did, did what? This is. There's no gravity or oxygen or anything. What are you doing? Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. What is this place? <laughs> Very funny. Oh, stars above, you're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Sigh. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to, uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from Timber Hearth and keeping an eye on things. Don't the other travelers come by? The Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro, and you know how Ribic feels about unnecessary spaceflight. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfills and Gossin mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. 
And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. You spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's it's one-way communication. That's I'm going to use that. It's not spying, Chad. It's one-way communication. Yep. Yep. Definitely. That none of the villagers know about, because I never told them. Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with the signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked in red on your minimap, but the Adirock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. All right. Interestingly enough, this refilled my oxygen, too. I can refill my jetpack there. Interesting. It shows the amount of gravity that we have as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Esker signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rubik's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. <laughs> Day 55, banjo music was coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rubik's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. It's day 70. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound of Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. When Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago, it can't be... I heard that. It was in the walls. In the cave. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? I better talk to Nice. We heard that. See? It's the same. Very weird. Let's get back to the ship. Boing. Oh, actually, let's see this. Esker's camp. Lunar lookout. Harmonica signal. So we've got some new stuff here. Now what we need to do is leave this log. I want to go back out and see if we can't find those lunar ruins. I'm going to go south because we haven't hit the South Pole yet. Now that is very strange. I don't know what that is. There we go. There's none of that ghost matter, is there? Okay, no ghost matter. It 
It's an observatory. An observatory for what? Ah, here we go. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator. And it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep in brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. That's part of the same conversation there. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. So that's in response to this. And then this one's in response to it as well. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. Thank you for the 100 bits. And Zultralord, I, I cannot hear text-to-speech today. There's none. It's turned off. An update. Dis disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. So that means that they're getting aberrant signals, and it's correct. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Oh, don't lose hope, Cassava, so that's the name of them. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we can just take scrolls and move them around. Is that a powered thing? Let me try this. Will it create the same conversation? It does. Okay, so now we know we can take that conversation with us and move it. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has an ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. And Nona and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. So there's a number of different locations now that have this. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Okay, wow, well, I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure, or I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. We're getting a lot of different threads here. Yep, just gonna go back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Yeah, so we're getting a lot of different threads for a lot of different kind of puzzly stuff. There's a lot of different directions for this. Also, this ball appears like it can go into different spots. What does this one do? Okay. So it creates a focused lens on a specific celestial body. Each time. That would be the eye of the universe. But it can't find it. So what they were looking for is the eye of the universe, but they can't find it here, and the locator's unable to do it, so maybe their other 
establish like their other location they built this can. Interesting. We need to go to those ruins back on Hearth, by the way. Do you know Adventure Time? Absolutely. Love Adventure Time, dude. I still don't know what this thing is. Looks like a crashed ship. What is that? Cool music. Wait. The sun changed. Wait, 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 wait. The sun's going supernova. What? That's 100% what that is. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, shit. Am I gonna die? What did I do wrong? Well, it's been real. Alright. Well then. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I already have the launch codes. I already got them from the observatory. It's a time loop. It's a time loop, but I keep my memories. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. I understand now. Give me my suit. It's a time loop, but I keep my memories. Which one is that? Uh, that's the moon. It's not what I want! Dodge the moon, it's fun. I want to land on this thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I know we're in a time loop now, so it's fine. What is that? What's out there? What is this? What is this? Ooh. 
Wait, what's happening here? I'm using my jetpack, and sand is... Is it getting taller every time I do this? Am I blowing sand away? Look at this. The sand is going down. I was trying to jump on top of it, and it's pushing the sand away. It's just getting taller. How, how tall does it get? How tall does it, how tall does this go? Oh, it's getting really tall. What is that? The hell is that? Wait, what is that? There's a bunch of them now. The sand is still going down. Or maybe it's getting tall? Oh wait, it's doing it on its own now. I don't have to use my fuel anymore. Wait, what's happening? It's just doing it on its own. I thought I was using fuel to do this. What? What is this? What is happening, Jet? I'm gonna get my ship. How do I get more fuel? Give me more fuel. Get more fuel somehow? Because he used it all? Because I'm dumb? The hell is this? What are you? How many weird things are going to happen to this solar system? I'm going to lose my mind, dude. I'm ready. The gravity here is 0.8 times our normal planet gravity. Well, it's... Whatever this is, it's building, right? Well, touching it's not dangerous. I wonder how long until the supernova happens. Also... The sand is lowering because it's going into that other planet. Okay... The other planet is eating the sand. That's why this is happening. Why? Why, though? And is this thing just like a big satellite dish? This is clearly like a Nomai structure of some kind. Nice. Very cool. Wait, 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 there's another one over there, look. The hell is it? It doesn't make sound. Okay, so there's a satellite dish on both of these planets that's doing the same thing. But this one has a big pillar in the center of it. What the hell is this? I, I know that, it, that, you know, it's gonna time loop me, but I also don't want to look away, because, like, what? What is that? Let me in! Oh! What? What? Huh. Well, I'm up here now. Very neat. I have arrived, chat. I don't... I don't necessarily know why I've arrived. I can't jump off of it. I'm... Oh, wait, no, I can't. I can totally jump off of it. 
Uh, oh, my legs. I didn't need those. Oh, my bones. My bones. Oh, God, my bones. Oh, my bones. Oh, my bones. My whole character's like red. It's not good. What is this shit? What is this? Okay, so... I definitely didn't want to get left behind. It just keeps going. We know what's up top, but like... Do I want to be up top? Do I want to be down below? I have to make a decision because now my, my shins are gone. I've deleted them. I'm shinless. Well, I'm just going to let my ship do whatever it's doing. It's probably going to get blown up. It's fine. Sun is an oboe, as we know. There's got to be a reason for this. I'm going down. There has to be a reason down here. We've seen what's up top. The gravity of this planet is decreasing as the sand is being pulled away. We're down to 0.7. That's a really nice touch. I actually really like that. I can see the sun slowly changing in the background, by the way. And it deeply upsets me, but also I need to know what's at the bottom of this thing. And it's still losing... You know, it's still losing gravity in sand form. I'm gonna go back in here. Yeah, look, we can see it happening. Look at it. I need to get to the bottom of it. I have to. I need to know, chat. I need to know what's at the bottom of the sandbox, chat. You can refuel? Where? Well... That's... That's probably bad, I think. I don't think that's a good thing. What's happening to my ship? Right now. Uh... I'm just gonna... fine. It's a little bit of an OSHA violation. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's happening. Something is happening. Another panel worth. It's the one on the other side. It's still going downwards. The sun is getting redder. This is upsetting. Well, goodbye forever, ship. How'd the mushroom hunting go? We ended up not going. It was raining like crazy. Yeah. No foraging. Unfortunate. Unforagenate. Well, now I can't get to my ship. Which means I will die when I run out of oxygen. So I'm just going to stand still. And wait for the sand to envelop my body. Next time I come here, if I don't survive this, I will try to land farther away from this giant thing. It's definitely a weird one. I'll give it that.
I can't jetpack up. So that's unfortunate. The gravity of the planet is still too high. There's just so much weird shit going on at the same time. What is the sand? Oh look, you can see it's filling up the other planet. Look at that. Does that mean there's that much sand left? Before this thing is done? I feel like I'm going to run out of oxygen before I get to that point. I think I'm going to die, chat. <laughs> huh. The sun is mostly red now. Yeah, again. I'm good at that. I've done it before. It's not my first rodeo. It's fun. Wait, wait, wait. We're almost to the bottom of whatever this is. There's the other one over on that side. Look at it. That one has one of those little observatory things on it. The ruins things. We'll have to go into that one next time. There's a lot more on that other planet. Oh god, come on. There's gotta be more oxygen somewhere, right? I mean, like, in my ship. Don't you do it. Don't you supernova. I have to know what's in the sand. Three minutes of oxygen remain- god damn it! This is it, chat. I die on the sand planet after waiting for all the sand to disperse. I should have just stayed in my ship. I should have just stayed in it. I was a fool. I was a fool. And now I'm going to suffocate on the sand planet. That is horrifying, by the way. What is that? Wait a minute. What is that? There's all kinds of weird shit on this thing. It's slowly revealing the weirdness. Look at it. Oh, that's spooky. That's where all the sand is getting sucked. Huh. I feel like if I walked out there, I'd just get blasted onto the other planet, wouldn't I? Wow, this place is really small. Wait a minute, there's one on the South Pole and one on the North Pole. There's two of them. But what is it? Yeah, there's two of them. Unfortunately, my ship is on top of one of them, and I'm going to suffocate to death. You know, as is tradition. Also, the sun is getting large now, and I'm running out of oxygen, so I'm definitely not going to survive. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's going to be a mystery for another life. Maybe it's the same one. No, one's at the North Pole, one's at the South Pole. Well, I have very little time left. Let's see what happens when I do this. Oh. Ow.
I want to get... Take me. Take me. Take me away. Ow. Shit. <laughs> Take me to the other planet. I need to go. I'm going to die. I'm running out of oxygen. Yes. Yes. Physics. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I died in space. I died in space, it's fine. It's fine. I died in space. I learned some things, though. I learned that the... the ash planet is slowly dispersing its stuff. I also learned that the ash planet has a thing on top of it that we can walk into, and it'll send me to the top of that thing, whatever that is. Oh. That was a completely different death. Ash planet. Ash planet. It's called, like, Ash Twin, I think is what that one was called. What are you? What are you? I don't know what that thing is. Whoa! Okay. That is not what I expected. That's a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Who gave this man an astronaut license? Uh... Sh 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 me? I gave myself the astronaut license. Okay, we gotta get faster. I'm gonna get it to about five kilometers before I slow down. Yeah, just overshot by 20 kilometers. It's fun. It's because of my current speed. Seven. Six. There we go, there we go. I'm holding the button, I'm holding the button, I'm holding the button, I'm holding the button, I'm holding the button. Nope. Holding the button, holding the button, holding the button. Come on, let's get it in close. Get it in close. I keep remember like forgetting that my ship doesn't have acceleration and deceleration very fast. So I'm overshooting stuff because of that. Which is fine. It's just I have to get used to it. Yeah, like this. Yeah, that's all it is. No, that's not what I wanted. Identified signal nearby. Deep space satellite. 
it's showing degrees. And it looks like it's pointed at the sun. It's pointing at something on that planet. What is that? That's our planet. What is the deep space satellite communicating? Interesting. Huh. All right. Well, I've learned something. I don't know what I've learned. I've learned something weird, I think. It is communicating back with our home planet, though. Ashtwin's actually, like, really obnoxious to land on. I really want to find out what happens on this thing. Like, I really, really want to find out what's going on with that. It's very fast moving. Is that there we go oh look it's a giant weird cactus that's kind of neat. We have a new frequency too. I can get deep space radio now. Oh dear. I'm just gonna chill here for a second. While the... While the sand gets... You know, whatever's going on over there, that could, that could just... Okay. It's not what I wanted. Okay, so there's a crack on that. I don't understand what the crack is for. Maybe we'll get something that breaks walls? A little bit weird, yeah? Oh, wait. Oh, it's grabbed my ship. My ship is going away. No. Oh, shit. My ship. <laughs> Why could this happen? Oh, no. God damn it. Why did this happen? K Wright, thank you for the rating party of 83, and Cadillac, thank you for the rating party of 2. I just put my ship down, and I think the gravity of the other planet just stole it. 
It's gone. It's on the other planet. God damn it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe. Maybe before I run out of oxygen, it will whip back around and I can use its gravity to jump to the other planet and survive. Just walk to the other planet? I'm gonna. With my legs. I broke my shins last time I tried to do something jumpy, so maybe I'll break my shins again. Maybe. I found this weird building that has, like, a, a door on it. And the door is damaged. Oh, here comes my ship. I'm ready. There's so much sand. Just don't break your shins, easy. Oh, I'm, I'm doing it. Here we go, here we go. One shot, chat. One shot, we got one shot. Oh, my ship is at the bottom of the sand. Oh, that means my ship is in the sand. Oh, I'm screwed. Ah! Uh... Take me! Take me! Oh, what's happening? Oh god. No, 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 no! Ow! Okay, I'm on the other planet. My ship is lost. It's inside of the sand at the core of the planet. We're screwed, but maybe I can learn something before I die. Uh... What? Aw, oh, Jesus. Damn it. No! Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. What are you? What are you? Escape Pod 2. A distress beacon. Okay. Are there any other distress beacons out there? What is this? What are you? No, 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 no. Goddamn physics. Ow. My legs. It's so hard to use. There we go. I'm learning. I'm learning how to use this. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anona, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? Burr, I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Okay, so we have escape pods to find now. What are you? What is this? Escape Pod 2, Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from Vessel. Launching Escape Pod 3, now launching Escape Pod 2. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete. External te temperature is prohibitively high. Verdict inhospitable, do not seek shelter on the planet's surface. It's too hot here. Shit. Alright, there we go. The heat from the star system sun is more more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show as a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are all still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone. Be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Wait. Emergency escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There is nothing but interest at the end of the nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Thank you for the prime sub, by the way. It's super nice of you. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. We need to find the right one. We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long term shelter there. No, 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 no. Just wanted to jump. 
This passage leads to breathable air. Gimme, 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 gimme. I'm gonna run out of air if I don't. Oh. Okay. Breathable air. Now we're good. We got the breathable air. We're good. We're good. Now I can go to the other one. Because that one has a big cavern for long-term... There we go. You. What is this? The cavern Mallory found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path for the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. We must hurry, as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand, and make sure no one is lost. It's going in reverse. Oh wait, no, it is filling with sand. Oh. Well, shit. This planet- No! Okay. The other planet is losing its sand. This planet is filling with sand. We have to land here, and I have to get in here, before it fills with sand, or I don't get to know what's in there. I understand. I understand. Oh, that's a little spooky, right? I don't like I don't like that. No, I don't think I like that, chat. I don't You know, you know what I mean? It's a little spooky in there. Oh, I'm dead now, aren't I? Yes. Yes, I do believe I'm going to die to sand. Wait, no. I've made it out. This is fine. Well, I've learned some things. And I learned that I have to get in here quickly. Very quickly. Thank you for the tier one sub, Simmons. I have to get in here quickly, but I've also found out that I can do an escape pod signal, which is new. Also, the sun is going to blow up again, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the sun's going to blow up again. I don't think I'll survive until then, to be honest with you. Because I think the the good planet. Yeah, this is all going this way. Um, I think as my ship fell over to the other planet, which sucks, we've run into a problem now where I'm not going to be able to get oxygen. Lista, thank you for the five gifted subs. That's super nice of you. Wait, wait, wait. There's other distress beacons. Where are they at? Thank you for gifting that sub. That is super nice of you. Thank you. Seriously. Which planet is it on? Come on, son, get out of the way. There. What are you? Okay, it's that weird dark one. But there's another one. Where's the other one? Interesting. Alright. There's two of them. I really want to know what happens on that planet when it runs out of sand. The problem is, when I landed on it, it stole my ship. Like a bastard. It looks like both of those actually have pillars on them, though. Also, that is a pillar. And it's got like a... Like a castle on it. Thank you for the tier 1 sub. That is super nice of you. Thank you for gifting those subs, dude. Oh, wait. I didn't know what this is. What is this? What are you? You were probably a lot cooler before you were covered in sand. You were, you were probably a lot cooler before you were sand. And now you're sand. 
And now I'm going to die on this planet. Because I have three minutes of oxygen remaining. And now you're covered in sand. The sun is going to explode, and I am going to die of no oxygen. Such is the life, Chet. Ship is not close by. Ship is underground, actually. The ship got pulled into the sandstorm and got put under the ground. Like, we can go over here, but I'm... Wait a minute. Is my ship above the surface? You beautiful sandy bastard. I'm not going to die at all. Well, I am, but but I'm not. How do I get anything in here? Did I learn anything? I've learned about Escape Pod 2 and the shelter site, Anglerfish Fossil. All right, so we've got some new weirdness going on. Medkit and refuel. Okay, buckling up. Oh, God. That's not great. Hi. Uh, I'm bouncing. So this is kind of where we want to find out what's going on, right? What is this? What's happening here? What's going on on this? All right. This seems good. Cool. So now I've got a bird's eye view of whatever this is. And I've got a lot of time to wait. And see what's going on. I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna jump off this time. Although I know how to use my jetpack a little bit better. This is a whole castle over there. Okay. I wonder if it's the building that we should get to. Oh, there's me. So it looks like this is just rock now. Shoot it down there. Yeah, it's just rock. It's rock all the way through now. Is there a point to this? What do you want from me, son? What do you want from me? I went on top of the pillar. I don't even know what this is. What's down here? Show me your secrets. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? What is that? But why? But why is it there? I don't understand. I need to know. I will discover it. Ow. No. Oh, my bones. Oh, God, my bones. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's more of them. No, not yet. Not yet, you bastard. Don't you blow up yet? No! No! Oh. Mm. Mm. 
There's a way to get inside of that building, but it's from underneath. Using the same warp up stuff. It only happens after all the sand is gone. But the other planet has a bunch of secrets in it, but only if you get there before the sand gets there. We need to get to the planet before the sand gets on it, and then we'll go to the other planet. Give me the planet. I need to get to the red planet. I need to know. I need to know what's there before the sand gets there. There's too much damn sand. I agree. Where are you? Where are you, sand planet? That's Brittle Hollow. We don't want you. Where is it? You. No, no, no. Landing mode, please. Let me out! Go, 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 go. Wait! I forgot to put on my spacesuit! God damn it! You ever just forget to put on your spacesuit, Chad? You ever do that in your life? You ever do that in your life? Do that before? Spacesuit. Buckle up. Okay, where's the sun? You. Yeah, I like a glove. It's fine. Okay, there we go. Now we go back down through this. We've already read all of these. We know what everything in here says. We go down this way, we know that it's this route here. We have to go fast enough before the sand shows up. Walk forward until you meet the sandfall of the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with the rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. Reach the subject. Walk forward until you meet the sandfall of the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with the rock column and climb upward. Turn left. Why 
climb upward. There we go. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Milleray and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once to the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it, and you'll reach the shelter side. Behind the falling sand. Yeah, no thanks. Yeet. You're doing well. There's only a little farther left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Wait. There we go. Yee. Wait. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. We did it. Or did we? Anglerfish fossil overlook 40 meters. This place is still filling with sand. There's something down there. What is that? I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan first came here. What if the eye isn't something good? What if the eye wanted that to happen? Ghost. Shit. Yeah, we have ghost matter everywhere. Ah, oh, great. Interesting. What is this? Okay. The sand is rising. Wait. I think that one goes into the building. But I want to check this first. There's a couple more of these. Ow. Oh shit, I'm running out of oxygen too. Well, that's probably not good. We're gonna go back. Okay. It looks like this stayed. But there was a door down there if it would have been faster. Okay. I think I may have missed something. I think there was another door down below that we could have reached had I been faster. 
And I'm probably going to run out of oxygen in a minute here. It's not going to be fun. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Let me just, you know. Oh, wait. There's no ghost matter. It says ghost matter detected nearby, but there is none. Oh, it's down in there. Okay. I see now. Let's just not go that way. I'm running out of oxygen. Come on, 60 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What is this? What? What? But what? But what is this? I don't understand. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. At the comet? Okay. Call the shuttle home. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home is the one on the right. Please, please, please. Don't let me die. Oh, God, I got oxygen. Hell yeah. I fear our situation may be dire. I, Poke, and I landed on this comet not long after its arrival in this star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface, either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Oak and Pie, come back to me safely, my friends. Oh! Whoa! I see. This one puts us back. That one doesn't do anything, as far as I can tell. And the other one launches us, because we're in a gravity cannon, right? So if we wait for this moment, and then we launch now, I didn't expect that to happen. I thought maybe... Maybe something cool would happen, but I died. My bones! Oh, I learned something. I don't know what I learned. I feel like I have to get inside of that... that... tunnel of sand place faster, because there's a door all the way at the bottom. There's a door all the way at the bottom. And I learned something. Crashing a spaceship is not good for health. True. Wait, which way was the goddamn sun? Oh, there we go. Let's do this a little bit. A little bit there. Right about there. Zooming it back a little bit. Zooming it back a little bit. There we go.
Like a glove. Cool. Cool ship. Ugh. Me in. Alright, here we go. Go this way. Must go fast. Must go fast. Let me in! Need to activate the lights. The high energy lab. Okay, so this is where I couldn't get in before. What is it? I bet it's gonna be full of sand. There's so much goddamn sand. Shit! Why can't I not jump? What are you doing, game? Oh, that's really annoying, actually. The sand is like super goddamn annoying. Can I can I get out of this, please? No? Okay, so you can't jetpack up when there's sand. And the, the game keeps trying to slide me into the sand, despite me going straight up. Can we, can we go the right direction, please? Physics is really annoying at this. <laughs> Come on, man. There's no gravity for it. There's no force forward. That's really annoying. Um, I guess there has to be another way around. No? Is that it? Is that the only way? No? Are we just not- we just can't- suddenly we can't do this? Okay, let's go this way then. Maybe with high enough speed? That's what I was trying, but it doesn't seem like you can get enough forward momentum. Which is kind of annoying. Maybe it's not meant to go through? I don't know. Really? Really? That's- I was already here. So what is the point of this? If I can't get through this... Do I just have to wait? I have to wait. Oh, that kind of sucks. Let me out. But I have to wait until all the, the spikes are gone. Because they give me a suit puncture. Uh, uh, uh. Shit. Oh, come on. That was not fair. Let's go. What? 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 So I'm going to die in this, is, is what you're. You've rused me. I have been rused. You have...
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm an idiot. Son of a bitch. How do we get in there? Oh, I didn't want to get this far just to have this happen to me. Come on. Yes! Survive. Always live, never die. What? Okay, that's bad. What is this? What is this? I'm almost out of oxygen. I'm gonna die. Oh! I made it. What? What is it? What? Warp cores, huh? Okay, let's read this and pause this time while I'm doing that, so. Records show that Nomai arriving in the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Remy and I devising an experiment to test if a test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. Hi, initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. So we need a black and a white uh, core, I'm guessing, on the other one. It is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. We saw a white hole on the map. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the... They created the time loop. Okay. They created a time loop by messing with gravity. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. Not only did they create a time loop, they also made it so that our sun is accelerating through time millions of years. That's why it's, it's supernovaing so fast. I is unconvinced it's more than equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. So the Sunless City, I'm guessing, is that thing rotating around the sun. Of note, Pi, of note, Rami, Yero requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. All avoidable energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So they got it working, but to what end? Now here's the real question. There we go. A black hole and a white hole. Did I miss a branch? Did. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. I didn't see that branch. There's another one up here. The Southern Observatory is asking for creating a 22 minute interval. If creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That's about the amount of time between our supernovas. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Remy and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology to be able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit those these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. Only The only location large enough would be the Ash Twin. 
The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're gas, Pi. My pun was unintended, Remy. So I believe it's you who is error for. What a name, dude. Let's get the other one. The Ash Twin Project will be one of the biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically, to build it. We need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers, like the one we have on Whitehall Station, to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant's deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. That's what it was inside of the geyser. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. We've learned a lot. This door will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on extraordinary findings from the Whitehall Station. An update, the High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help, or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless City Path to the lab. The Sunless City Path to the lab. So that's where we went through originally. Rami and I will be running this experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. So although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed by the path from the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. Sunless City 300 meters. So, I took the Sunless City route. Interesting. Now the real question is, what did I activate here? Oh, I got it right. A black and a white hole. Right? Like, they said it was going to be a black hole and a white hole combined to cause this. What happens if I change this to a different white hole? Is it the same? It is the same. I see. If you go into the black hole, you come out wherever the white hole is. Understood. What happens if we put two white holes? Or two black holes? What if we do that? Nothing. And if we put nothing on one side and a black hole on the other? Nothing. Is it unstable? Okay, so that's what we've learned with this, is that you go into the black hole, you come out the white hole. But is that it? Is that all we've learned here? It's gonna be a portal, and I've seen the white hole. That means that we have teleportation somewhere, but... But where? High energy lab. Is it there? What 
What is that? That's not what I want. God damn it, game. Nobody wants that. What is that? I am, in fact, playing it. I want to touch that, but I don't know what it is, and there's too many spiky, horrible things around it. Well, I've learned something about this. I understand now that we can go into a black hole and come out of a white hole anywhere. But the thing is, is to what end? I got inside of the laboratory. I learned about the mechanic. I just don't understand what it will do. F hmm. I think it's time to investigate a different planet. I think it's time to look at a different planet. Wait a minute. There's smoke up ahead. Oh, I hadn't gone to this guy. Hey, buddy. We hadn't had a chance to talk. And that's going to blow up soon, so... What? Oh, it's you. I take it it's your first launch when well, then. Welcome to the Argo... You're an egg. Hornfell's notice our star charts are out of date, so I came up here to update them. But something seems... How to put this off. I've seen, what, 10 supernova by now? 12? They're all in the double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. I found something. Anything you want to discuss at the moment? I have a question for you. Why are so many stars going supernova? I have no idea. Massive stars go supernova, and then they reach the end of their lifespan, so it's possible the stars are older than we realize, or maybe our models are wrong and they don't live as long as we expected. What else is wrong? And our sun. No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm probably overlooking something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. What are you doing out here? Originally came here to update the star charts, so we already know that. He's an egg, dude. To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with my little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site in the Ember Twins' southern hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. It's one of Nomai's ships. You'll find Nomai ruins across the Twins, but strangely, not a single settlement. Believe me, if there's one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scout. So where do they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the, the answer lies underground. Already found it. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? On a scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin. But did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the tin twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. If you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Okay. I don't think I've seen this before. All right. You look away. It's in superposition. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip. And has been missing ever since. Melloray, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, Melloran? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a, a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. I, he had a limited supply of air, Nona. I'm afraid for him. He will learn more. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. Alright. 
to go to the north. Oh wait, we have stairs going up out of this. That's interesting. The Northern Lake Bed Cave. Oh, hey, um... I don't think there's a lake bed here anymore, I'm just... You know what I mean? I feel... I feel like we're lake bedless. You know? What are you? You're not one of mine. Adderwald's Ventures. It's his ship. Okay. Thank you for the 100 bits, Fanyogs. By the way, I cannot hear text-to-speech today. I have it turned off so that no one can spoil me. Cardboard Cowboy? Oh my god, what? Since when? What have I missed so far? Since today. Since today. And you've missed me dying a lot. You want to know something funny, Cardboard Cowboy? I had never heard the sound of the supernova going off. But I heard it in your stream, and I thought that was from your stream. <laughs> I thought that was unique to your stream. And then it happened to this, I went, wait a minute. And I thought maybe I was running your stream in the background and you had been streaming. You didn't ruin anything for me. You've only enhanced it. I just thought it was really funny. I was like, I was like, where the hell is Cardboard Cowboy? Because I had no, I've, I'm going to this completely blind. I had no idea. I've learned so much about this weird twin planet thing. I found my way into a research lab, a high energy lab, where I learned how to manipulate black holes and white holes and how I can make a portal. But I don't know where or how I will do such a thing. And I have a strange feeling that I'm about to have to figure it out again. Anyway, it'll be fine. Because we're almost out of sand. And the sun is a deadly laser. It's, it's become very large. I think my favorite death so far was forgetting to wear a spacesuit. Because I was trying to go so fast. And then I was like, I'm dead. That's not good. Hmm. Beautiful desert planet. We love to see it. Now I need to find out what is at the bottom of this thing. Because this one, when you get to it quickly... It's, it's completely uncovered, and I don't know... Actually, wait, no, this is where we launch the pod, and I shot it into the other planet and instantly died. That's what that was. I put myself inside of a pod, and then launched that pod. Wait a minute, maybe I should use it to launch myself into the sun next time. Like, we could just wait until right... There, and just launch myself into the sun, right? I feel like I just launched myself into the sun. Because it's a... It's a comet. I wonder if it's... I wonder if I'd survive. I don't feel like I would... What is that? The white hole! Wait, 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 wait. That's the white hole. I'm on to you. I'm on to you, I know you exist. It's making weird god sounds. It's a little haunted. It's just a little haunted, Jet. It's just a little haunted. No! No, you won't take my haunted white hole away from me. Don't you dare. I learned this time. I learned some things. You can't take that away from me. You can blow up all these planets. You can blow up this body. But I'm not forgetting. I don't, I don't even know what I, what I learned and how it matters. But that's fine. 
nothing you can do to take it away from me. There's the black hole. Wait a minute. Is that the start of... What is that? There was another planet. What is that? There's clouds of weirdness out there. Oh god, no! It's fine. It's fine, it's just a suntan, chat. Don't worry about it. It's just a really, really powerful suntan. Alright. I've learned some things. I've learned some things, chat. We got inside of a high-energy laboratory. I talked to an Eggman. I, I learned how to manipulate a black hole and a white hole. This is fine. I learned some things. Also, what is that? Oh, it's the pod. I understand. Yeah, recap shows images from the last walkthrough. It's my entire playthrough. Wait. I'm an idiot. No, I have an idea. What did I try to do in the very beginning of the video game? Ow. I tried to die inside of this geyser, but I have a spacesuit now. I can survive in this now. Hey. Is that? All right. That's not what I wanted. People just throw junk down in the well. All right. Okay. Won't let me go that way. There's supposed to be a teleporter in here. Because that's what they said on the twins. Here we go. There we go. Oh! No! Oh! oh! Oh god. I'm gonna die, aren't I? This is how you die. This is... No, I'm not dead. Okay, that's going somewhere new. It appears that this goes somewhere new. We're gonna go into the into the thing. Wait, there's another one. Wait, okay, there's there's a way up and there's a way down. I'm gonna go up. I want to see what's up there. Huh. Ow. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was, uh... I didn't need those shins. I didn't need them. They were holding me back, and I think that's fine. 
I, I lived. That's all that matters. That all, that's all that matters, shit. I lived, and I still have shit. Ooh, oh, hey, hey. After closer observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safer for the native life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for it to stop doing its billowing anger. I guess it won't. Wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of this cave's pools. So unfortunately, we have to mine one of the other sites. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. What about site 2B? It shares similar formations and strata. This sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. Site 2B is safe. Colia says we'll continue to monitor our activity and its effect on life there. On the opposite hand, new life. This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, so I believe they'll thrive in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. They remind me of subterranean species that my mentor, Melloray, once told me about. From when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these lifeforms greatly. I was watching them once during a rest, and the hours escaped me. They're fascinating. I wonder what their fourth eye does. It's us. They're talking about the early versions of us. Look, it's us. It's the weird proto version of us. Millions of years ago. we go! Oh, hey. Uh... Hmm. Am I in a volcano? It's a big frost volcano. There's something down there, though. Ow! Again, I didn't need those shins. This is gonna be another high-energy lab? Mining site 2B. Okay, so this is the new mining site. Shin's absolutely shattered. Didn't need him. Didn't need him. What is, what is this place? Oh, shit. Okay. That's fine. It looks like it was mining using the warp portal stuff. Going to space. All right, all right. So this is how they do mining. They actually use their their gravitational pull stuff. That's cool. I like that. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the one? The ore of the remaining towers being built on Ash Twin. The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore they're we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use Timber Hearth's ore only for constructing the shell. If eventually, life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they plan to cord accordingly. God damn it. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice for making puns, Scolius. How else could he improve? You need puns. Puns are life, dude. It's this again. I don't know what that does yet. Ash Twin Projection Stone. Oh. Okay. Okay, I understand now. I 
I understand now, I think. What? Maybe I don't understand. Wait, what? I thought this was going to be a teleporter. One, two... So it's... Okay. That's not what I thought that was going to be at all. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Oh no. This ore should be the last we need for the Ash Twin Project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. It's the smallest flyer opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin Project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Remy and I will be checking for the checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. Why are they sealing off the core? Further, we've seen we've seen this this symbol before. Man, how many times do I have to press that that jetpack before it actually does it? It just doesn't do it sometimes. Like, decides no. I don't really know what to do about it. Really? You gonna, you gonna make me wait for this? I wonder if I can take this to the Ash Twin. Because I feel like I should be able to. Booster has a cooldown. You can see it on the HUD. Oh, that's what it is. God, that's annoying. Yeah, I had no idea I had a cooldown. I was just like, why is this not working sometimes? Yeah, see, like, it just... Sometimes it just doesn't work when you're holding down spacebar. It just decides not to do it. Even though it had 100% charge there, it just decided no. Okay. What is this? Okay. I don't think we've been here before. That's clearly the white hole. So a lot of this is talking about the usage of a black hole and a white hole to generate some kind of an energy. And then it goes wrong, and they basically create a time loop. They're just killing our entire planet. This one is a black or this one is a white hole. And we can't rip it out. Thank you for the prime sub, half a heart. That's very nice of you. I think I've spent too much time now. I think the best thing to do is probably get back to my ship and then try to go to the Ash Planet. Because the Ash Planet, at this point, will have probably lost most of its sand.
Oh, landing gear damaged? Wait, what? Really? I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go over to this first. Came down a little too hard. Whatever. When the sun blows up, I won't have to fix it. Huh. That was a mistake. <laughs> Got a little too close. Got a little too close. I didn't realize that I was so damn close to the sun. You know, like, sometimes you just don't realize you're so close to the sun. Yeah, ship's fixed. We're good. Well, I learned some stuff. I learned a lot of stuff. I learned I learned a whole lot of stuff. The Nomad plan to construct a technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on the Ash Twin. Successfully reproduce the temporal anomaly be first observed at the White Hole Station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. The Nomai discovered that they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. Three. There we go. The Nomai wanted to know if a 22-minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy, and that's what they've done. And now we're stuck in that. And that's it. That's what it is. So we've managed to get through it. I kind of like the rumor mode more. Yeah, I think rumor mode is more fun. A Nomai device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. The Nomai were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Southern Observatory, Ribic. We have another one over here. Lakebed Cave. The quantum caves. There's more to explore here. What I want to try and do is stand on the stone and then look away. Because what I think happened to that guy is that he stood on the stone and then nobody was looking at the stone and he and the stone teleported away. That's my guess. This game is so cool, dude. Look at how wild this is. Interesting, the high energy lab is now marked. I didn't expect that. Let's go dodge that. I marked it in rumor mode. Is that what it is? Okay. What I actually want to do is go to this. Oh god, that's awkward. Please game. Please game. Thank you. God, it's awkward. There we go. 
So we have another one of these spinning disc things, which we don't really know what that does. This one is another white hole generator. So they have a white hole singularity generator thing there. And this. This is new. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's just a ruin. It's a broken building. Is that it? Interesting. Now that's interesting. The high energy lab actually leading downwards. Ah, oh, shit. Get on with it. Oh god, wrong way! I can't see anything. I think I'm dead. I thought that was going upwards, and I thought, oh, if I go through the ghost matter, it'll be fine, because it'll hold me up and away. No, it pushed me downwards, and I just died in the ghost matter. Yeah, good, good run. Feels good. I've learned something. Let's go to a new planet. Let's go to that weird thing as it shoots out into space. I did notice something, by the way. That shoots off in a different direction every time. Did you notice that? Wait. Did that just shoot towards us that time? That's way too fast. We are. We are in space. That is true, Thornstar. It's shooting blobs of death. It's shooting blobs of death out of space. By the way, I see you have sent... Thank you for the, the tier one sub. I see you have sent a uh, text to speech. I have text to speech turned off uh, because nobody wanted anybody to have uh, like spoilers for this. So text to speech is turned off for me. You can hear it, but I can't hear it. I did that specifically because uh, people didn't want it to get spoiled for me. That's all. New planet. Where's that distress beacon? There it is. Aha! New stuff. Weird. Ah! Okay, let's see what the, the log for this thing says. Escape pod 1. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, now launching escape pod 1. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete, minor structural instabilities detected, pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy detected. Verdict, hospitable. So this planet is hospitable. Emergency escape hatch. Is that a... Is that a black hole? This is a good idea, right? Aw, oh, shit. I'm at the white hole. And I don't have my ship. Wait, wait, wait. All right. All right, maybe I'll survive. Maybe. I don't know. All right. All right. Oxygen refilled. 
I don't really, I don't really know what I'm doing in space right now, but it's it's fine. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Gravity. All right. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window of time the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. In this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. Okay. I see. Twin Ember Projection Stone. Interesting. How do we actually start the damn thing? We can't get it to lock. So what does this orb do? What do you do? What does this damn thing do? Oh, wait a minute. That's pointing to the left, so the orb inside has to be pointing to the right, and I have to stand on this at the time that the clock hits. Right? Yes, I think. But now I have this token. Come on, send me. There we go. Blah, blah. Okay. It makes sense. It makes sense now, I understand. Return warp status charge. Step onto warp receiver to platform to activate return warp. Departure time. Arrival time. So we can use these to get around to different locations now. The hanging city below 50 meters. Ah, that would be unfortunate. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. Our design worked, we've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how to close or how close it is to a known as original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Kusava, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Don't tell Kasava. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're projecting ourselves... Okay. So it's only a, a visual projection. That's what that other platform was. This one gives us information. Remy and I reviewed the records you sent, Poke, and they appear to show Nomai are arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before departing from the Whitehall Station. As I've already told Remy, these measurements can't be accurate. 
How can a Nomai arrive on Brittle Hollow before he or she ever stepped onto the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Poke, as Pi is confident the readings the reading is inaccurate, she kindly she's kindly helping me attempt to recreate this phenomenon at the high energy lab. We're designing an experiment to take more data. Poke, the high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once, you need to see this. I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time in such a small degree? I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broke several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. So this sends me to where we already were. Which is specifically... Yeah, this sends us to the high energy lab. Oh, he's not looking too good. Now where's my ship? I think this can actually send us right back to where we were, yeah. Oh. Where did it send us to this time? Is it the same? Is it bound to the same location every time? It looks like it is. Yeah, it's bound to the same location. Interesting. So at least now we know how that works. Ow, my bones. I'm gonna investigate this whole planet. It appears my ship is here, though. Because this is where I landed originally. Although I did kind of stop my investigation. That was almost bad. I'm going to get some more fuel and then I'm going to go back down inside of that ship. might be other things going on in here. Oh, what? Okay, not good. Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. <laughs> a little spooky. Oh, there we go. There's some new stuff. Things I haven't seen before. There's a whole society here. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. There we go. Wait a minute. I know this. Oh, it's weird. Feels weird, man. Oh, it feels weird. It's gotta stay near these things, and then gravity will hold me, and it'll be fine. There's something close to the black hole there. I guess what I have to do is just... get inside of this? Yeah, there's a, there's a way in over there. Oh, shit. Not good, not good, not good. Alright, I'm good, I'm good. We're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. A little terrifying. Oh, wait. Yeah. Well. 
This? What? Well, which? Okay, yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. I go this way now. Jesus. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so there's ghost material there. No, god damn it, game. How long do I have to hold that button for it actually just to stay down? Come on, man. I hit something, and it, like, turned off my, my thing. I didn't want that. Guess we can go over the top of it? There's more over there, though. Yeah, it's on the inside of this building. It's all in the doorway there. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, I didn't, need, I didn't need my bones. It's fine. The jetpack just does not like me sometimes. It's fine. Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Don't forget festivals happen every 10 years. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance. Like a known as Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp along long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and very dense, tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Hanoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Sad. The universe will end one day. Has been on? <laughs> What is the button for it? There we go. Okay, that is ghost matter right there. We don't really want to mess with that. That was the way up before. So if we go around the ghost matter blob... This should be okay. There's a scroll we didn't see before. There we go. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Come on, physics. Work with me. I mean, work with me, man. 
There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is where I entered. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted. Man. Well, at least I got this stupid thing. Ooh. Oh, come on. No, am I dead? I feel like I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, new death. New death, chat. Well, I learned something. I learned about their festivals. The festivals is a totally new thing. I hadn't seen that before. Now we're going to watch this thing de detonate again and shoot that thing off into space. And it always shoots it off in a random direction. Which means we're not in a time loop. Technically. We're in a time loop with differences. And since there are differences, it's really interesting. The Hanging City. There's more to explore there. Escape Pod 1. Temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. Okay, we've seen all that. I'm gonna head back to Brittle Hollow. That thing over there seems ridiculous, by the way. I don't know how it would ever land on that without exploding. So that's fun. Actually, what is... What is that? I don't think I know what that is. I don't think I've seen that. It's like a dome. Here. There is a ship here. Although whose ship? I have no idea. Interesting. Okay, so there's a way inside. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that ship that went down, and I didn't sustain bodily harm, a few minor repairs, and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. <laughs> One of my better attempts. Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, my, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I, uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken, and I'm not great at exploring. But I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins of the equator to find a way down. Okay. He's over there. You can see the, uh, the smoke. We've done it. You've motivated, uh, motivated me into using Unreal Engine 5? Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Make stuff. Proud of you. Okay, I have oxygen here. Was that ghost material? Yeah, 
Yeah, we got ghost matter here. But it doesn't look like there's anything there, so it's fine. It's just a little bit weird. The real question is, is what the hell is ghost matter? Oh. Huh. That's a... That's a little bit weird. It's one of their gravity crystals, but it's broken. On? Well, someone was here. The journey from here to the South Pole has been, um, I'm going to go with harrowing because of, um, all of the meteors. But hey, at least I made it here unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little, and there's some sort of know-my path that starts across from my campsite. Inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads. Cool. There we go. More of these broken crystals. Lots of broken gravity crystals. Oh, here we go. Eh. Bleh. Bleh. It's fine, chat. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Doesn't make me want to vomit at all. Not even a little bit. Oh. Cool. Gravity crystal workshop above 140 meters. Okay, so this is actually where they, they create those. Now it makes sense. Erg, well that was unpleasant. I made it this far though. Guess that's the part to focus on. And not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. It looks like the Hanging City is north from here. And east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. So there's another gravity cannon. Another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good, since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down so I can refill my tank. Gravity cannon to the dome, and the hanging city to the dome. That's what it looked like. Or something to the dome, I don't know if the one on the left is. Gravity cannon east 400 meters. Let's go talk to this guy, though. Hanging city north, 250 meters. Okay. Ugh. Only a little bit completely horrifying. There we go. He doesn't look like an egg. You launched! That's great! Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. A lot of history here, it's great. I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before a species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I got even this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says it's half is halfway stable. Instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. And this seems to be the place where the best surface with the best surface integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. What is it? I found a Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow, so the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system. And they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. But what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch come from? Or the space escape pod launch from? I'm curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai lived here. 
Where should I explore here? Where shouldn't you explore? Or well, where shouldn't you explore here? Um, not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck exploring. If you've learned anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it, if it's not too much trouble. Alright. Nice. Good place. Let's use this to go to... What is this one? Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Whoa. That's what it was. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't, I didn't need my organs anyway. Something about the humming and this makes me want to vomit every time I'm in one. And I don't know what it is. Let's read this thing. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. What? Okay. I see. How do we do this, then? If this is broken... How do we ascend? There we go. That'll help. Shortcut. It's fine. Southern Observatory is south. I need to get inside of there. Hmm. Unidentified signal nearby. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Mood, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you in your journey. But I can't. How do I get in there? The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely, the entire planet, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. I never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area, such as the unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen anywhere else on this planet. This rock shard, or this rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? So that's how they discovered the gravity crystals. Oh, wait. No, it's this. Please, Gabe. Please, god damn it. I can't look away from this, because if I do, it'll go away. No, come on. I hate you, physics. I hate you so much. Made it. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. A unique signal is coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon, sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal from this shard produces calling out... Oh, this, the same signal the shard produces calling out from the Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. 
The only other object I've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this groves are related. So when you find a wandering moon, you can't look away from it, because if you do, it'll disappear. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere in Brittle Hollow. What if it, it, if it isn't originally from this planet? This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Well, I looked away from it. Ow. God damn it. Well, it's gone now. <laughs> it's everywhere. Alright, so now I have to find a way to get inside of this thing. Yeah, no, it teleports. It, it's in a state of superposition until you see it. So when you look away, it disappears and moves. It's a really cool system, actually. I, I really like that. Legitimately, I think it's cool. Jesus. This place is jacked. That just seems to go nowhere and then you die, right? This one seems to work. Kind of? But that one seems to not work. None of these seem to work. Ow. Shit, 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 shit. No! Fine. You win this time, black hole. True. That is true. Thank you for the hundred bits. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This one goes to Brittle Hall. I've already read this. That's a little bit weird. That's a little bit weird. Opus, thank you for the 100 bits. You're a skill issue, by the way. I've already read that text before, and because I already read that text, I didn't think it was going to show up with blue again. But it looks like it does. Odd. Hmm. Jeez. Legend of Chrono, thank you for the Prime sub. Imagine, dude. I've already used this on all of these. I've seen all this stuff. So this is all nothing new. This is all the same things that I've already seen. The really interesting part at this point is, what do I do with this, this tablet, right? Because I've already used it in those other things there. Oh, I've never seen this. This is new. As soon as you observe the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky, your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it 
leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it disappears? Could it shift in the light spectrum? Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. There can exist, there can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. So it's the moon that if you look at it, it disappears after you look away. Interesting. My ship is very far away. In fact, wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute, I'm not even on the same planet as my ship. Shit. <laughs> That's not good. Did they just shoot beam of energy? I don't think I've ever seen it do that before. Okay, this is... Escape Pod 1. Or Escape Ship 1. We've seen this before. Yeah, escape pod one. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news. At least, have we heard from escape pod two or escape pod three? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. Both equi my equipment can hear the other two escape pods. Distress signals, however, if it's any comfort. Both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Have embraced yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. The planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observe several promising sites below the surface and we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb down safely from this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. So it's just talking about everything that we've seen so far. Yeah, Moon's haunted, dude. Moon's haunted with, like, actual horrific amounts of volcanic activity. And I've already discovered all of this in here. Hmm. Nah, I can't do it. Into the black hole. What is... What is happening right now? Oh, it's a bunch of junk came through the white hole. Oh, they're pieces of the planet that fell through. Okay. Wait. No, oh, come back. I was wondering what all that was, and it's it's literally pieces of the planet that have fallen through as we've been playing the game on this run.
Yeah, I've already seen all this. Interesting. It makes me wonder what I can do with this tablet. Because the tablet is the thing that you bring back from that location. Like, that is that is the thing that comes back, right? There's a bunch of stuff in the Hanging City that I haven't seen down there. So I might hang like go back to the Hanging City. But it looks like the sun is about to detonate again. So I may not have the time. Music starting. Oh, it's gonna happen. It's happening. It's happening. No, oh, I almost got it. What is that? Wait, there's something over there. No, no, no. Oh man. I was trying to land on it. Let's get a good look at it this time, Chet. Oh, cup. Really? Really? You robbed me of that? You robbed me of. God damn it, space. You ever just get robbed? You ever get robbed, Chet? You ever get robbed by physics? You are robbed by physics before? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I learned a lot of stuff that time. You robbed yourself. Look, it's blowing up again. Which direction is it going this time? Nowhere? didn't shoot in a direction that time. Oh yeah, I did. It shot directly away. Fantastic. Okay, what did we learn this time? Rubik's Camp. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Quantum Shard. Quantum Signal. Quantum Signal. Quantum Moon. Quantum. Now there's a place I haven't been. I haven't been to Giant's Deep yet. I don't know anything about it. No, that's not what I want. The hell? That gravity cannon that blew up was around Giant's Deep. Yeah, look, it's right there. He said somebody was here? Oh, this is not good, is it? I'm gonna die in this, aren't I? Holy shit. It really, really wants me to die in this. Okay. That's, that's fine, I guess. Alright, I guess we don't want to touch that. This place is weird, man. Alright. Well, that's a planet.
No, I don't want the scout. Oh my god, the scout, dude. Okay, there we go. That way's certain death, and this way is not. What is this? Dude, there is a lot of ghost matter here. Holy shit! Oh, man. The gravity is so high. Like, it wouldn't let me even use the jetpack. Yeah, the gravity doesn't even give a shit here. It's not good at all. I gotta get out of this water. Okay, there we go. What is that? Is that water? I wish I had a grappling hook. Yeah, you can't even you can't even use a gravity like you can't even use a, a jetpack here because the gravity is two times. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's effectively just worthless. So I got to keep that in mind. We can't jump over over gaps. There's no jumping over a gap in this. Not really, anyway. You gotta really go for it if you're gonna do it, basically. Whoa! Barely made it. Okay. I see there's a massive tornado up ahead. Very cool. That's death. That one over there is death. I'm just going to go this way. Trip four, entry number whatever. Crashes two. Boring crashes zero. Remember to see Slate when I get back. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, giant steep. You just got feltsbarred. That was one of my most dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Can't wait to tell Hornfels and Goshen about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right. So there's one more off the list. Seems that all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. They're jellyfish. They're like giant, weird jellyfish creatures. So did he just come here and go down to the core of the planet in his ship? Is that it? Alright. God damn. Oh shit. What? Did it move? I think that moved. I feel like that moved. I'm pretty sure that moved. Because I went back over a route that I had just been in, and then it killed me there. That's a bit weird. I hadn't seen any ghost matter move before, but that one definitely did. At least it felt like it did. Might be wrong. Thank you for the sevens in chat. Very good. Fantastic. Goblets. We're going in, chat. I wonder what happens if I hit it really hard. I just hope there's no island there. Shit! Of all the places I could land. Really? Really. <laughs> it's an ocean world. Ow. You know what? Stay in the tree. I don't need you. It's fine. The hell am I?
Oh, hey. Hobo guy. Nice. It's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Hey, so don't forget or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know. It's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. So it's not just me in the loop. It's not just me. You're taking this pretty well. Eh, right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences. And I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfills and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfills about the time loop, they never remembered my next one by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. There's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to the big stone Nomai statue I found on the uh, one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like it had seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. He did the same thing we did. You too. Yeah. Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the statues of the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. So let's talk about you, you know. I found something. What'd you find? Nothing on this planet. I, I found death. I found a lot of death. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you for the hundred bits. And Travis, thank you for the tier one sub. A clip of what I used to sound like? Uh, try the... I think it's like Peeled. I think Peeled is the one. Or Hot Dog is the one. Those might be the ones. I still can't believe I landed directly on this island. Oh wait, I can't even get my ship anymore. I'm just gonna die here, aren't I? My ship is in a tree. On a two times gravity planet. Ah, oh, shit. Or not? Wait. What? What's going on? Wait, what? What just happened? What is... Why is there no gravity? What just happened? Why did the voice change? I got older. I talked to my doctor about it because I was like super concerned and they said this happens sometimes. That's all it is. I think I broke gravity there. That was really weird. It looked like a bug to be honest with you. Yeah, no, my, my voice dropped when I hit like 33 years old. I have no idea why. There's a lot of damage. Okay, now we've landed on the ground. Now I can actually go and repair this thing. What else needs to be repaired? I can't get on top of it, so how do I repair the rest? What else is damaged? Left side bubble. Oh, come on, man.
This is the worst. God damn it. I hate this planet. Got it. Hate this goddamn planet. Okay, what's broken now? The center hull. I don't even get that. I don't even think I can get that. I have to put it out in space. Whatever. Into the ocean. Really? God, I hate this. Oh. So how do we get in there? So I can't go through the white ocean currents. That's not going to work. Interesting. Yeah, there's flying submarines. That's really all it is. So there has to be a location where we can go through. There has to be a hole. And my guess is it's going to be there. Nope. So not at the, the North Pole, maybe the South Pole? There's like little electrically charged particles shooting out from the core as well, if you see that. Little electrical bubble things. In reality, if a spaceship went into the ocean, it would be immediately crushed? Maybe. Depends on the spaceship. Maybe it's made for both. something big. Something big and weird. Okay, idea. Let's go to space. And then we'll try to go down into that. It's fine. See? See? It's fine, chat. We survived. Alright. Now what is this? The hell is this? Do I have to put my ship in that? Is that what we have to do? Nice landing pad next, next to my ship? True. It is a nice landing pad. So nice that I refuse to use it. know what's going on in there, but I'm gonna go up. Good morning, Savage Parts. How's it going? Is this similar to No Man's Sky? No, it is not. In any way. Be welcome to this place. This tower shares... 
water in there, shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Enter this place without friends, however. These are the lessons you learn for yourself. I feel like that might be death down there, huh? I think this might be a little bit of death. Let's find out. Oh, Jesus Christ. This planet's gravity is awful, by the way. What? What is this? Okay. I see now. It's a quantum portal. When you look away, it disappears. Observing a quantum object, observing an image from a quantum object, these are the same. <laughs> Ugh, I can't get up there. So the moment that I get up here, I won't be able to see it anymore. I see. What I need to do is see it there and then not see it and go up here. No? It'll be on the left side. I don't understand. Thank you for the prime sub, by the way. It's very nice of you. What? Because if it's not here... Cool plant. It's not there now. Oh wait, we've just made it be there, didn't we? We have to have it be there. Then and I thank you for the prime sub. And then leave, and when we look away... It's over there now. Is there any way to... Intentionally cause it to move? Let's see, it goes from there to there. Wait! I understand now. No. 
No, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. I thought it was doing a pattern before, and it doesn't seem to be. Like, if I look down, and then over, it'll be there. If I look down, and then over, it's not there. Down. I don't understand. Moves to the left. Moves to the right. Moves opposite. Moves to the left. Moves to the left. Moves to the... It just moves to a random location. It's not choosing... It's choosing at random. Oh no, it's moving. I don't understand. Like, I actually don't understand how this could be, because when we look away from it, it's gone. Look away from that one, it's gone. And now it's... it's not... It never follows the same pattern. Ever. It never follows the same pattern. And we can't jump, because this planet's gravity is ass. So you can't do it. Hmm. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. Everything else in there is changing, but not that one. An image of a quantum object. An image of a quantum object. Where is an image of a quantum object? Is this the same? Where's that tree? There's nothing on it. Where is an image? Looking at a quantum object and the image of a quantum object is the same. Observing an image of a quantum object and observing a quantum object, this is the same. There has to be a symbol of this somewhere in here. Or a reflection? A symbol or a reflection? Maybe the ground. the ceiling. There's nothing in here that looks like the quantum object we're chasing. An image of a quantum object. No! Not enough time! You bastard! Not yet! I'm not ready yet! Ooh! Quantum.
quantum object. An image of a quantum object. Image of a quantum object. We don't even have an image though. There's no image available. Image of a quantum object. Oh, by the way, I am not reading most of chat. And uh, I cannot hear TTS today. So, if... If you're trying to talk to me using TTS, it will not work. It won't work. Yeah, you can hear TTS, but I can't. And I can't read chat, so... That's how it is. Here comes the... Here it comes. Here it comes. Boof. Boof. There it goes. Observing the image of a quantum object. Observing a quantum object and the image of a quantum object. I'm going back there. I'm going back there. I want to solve that. Kedu, thank you for the tier one sub. That's very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. Quantum object and an image of a quantum. There's nothing in the room that looks like the object. Unless we make one. Wait. Wait a minute. Up, oh, please. Thank you, ship. I think I just solved it. I think I just solved it, Chet. No, that's that's to get me back out again. No, nope, god damn it, game. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think I understand. I think I understand how to do this. I think I actually I think I know actually how to do this. Observing a quantum object and observing the image of a quantum object are the same. We can take a picture of it. And as long as there is a picture of the quantum object on screen, we're observing it and it shouldn't move. That's a really, really interesting goddamn mechanic if that's the way that this works. And I think it is the way that it works. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it when we get there. And if that's the case, then I can use that for other things in the future. Come on. I want to test it. I want to test the thing. I want to test the thing. Boong.
If I look away from it now, it's still there. The camera works. We can pause it to stay in place permanently because we're looking at it. Technically. That portal no longer moves. Hey. 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 I love that. That's an awesome mechanic. Is there anything weird in here? Oh, hi. What? Isn't this the same one? What is that? Oh. Uh, oh. I have to take a picture of it. <laughs> because when I get up past it, I stop seeing it. And it disappears. What is that? Well, there's no point in seeing it. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Now I need both of these. There we go. Whoa! Hello, weird quantum crystal again. Very nice. There's a bunch of portals up there. I guess that's as good as we can get there. This is the last one, but we made it harder. Oh, you call that hard. You've given me the mechanic. It's too late now. Let's read this. We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. The other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Now I can take a picture of the quantum moon, and when I take a picture of the quantum moon, it will no longer move. And then we can go there. Once I see it. Okay, so that was right at the beginning. Okay, so we have a new piece of knowledge. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. I've learned something that will stay with me no matter what. Okay, we did the Tower of Quantum Trials. Finished. That was a lot of fun. I really liked that, actually. Cool puzzle mechanic. Really enjoyable. Taught me something about the universe that's now going to change the rest of the universe. The rest of my interactions. There's the white hole. A 
and the interloper. I wonder if I can land on it. I think I can land on it, Chen. I think it's possible to land on this. It doesn't seem like it wants me to land on it. But I feel like I should be able to land on it. You know? I feel like I should be able to. Yeah, I feel like I should be able to land on that. It seemed to want me to. Maybe I'll land here. Maybe I'll try to land there. Nope, really doesn't want that. Alright. Fine. Keep your secrets, interloper. Still read chat, Pengu. Cloud shoot. Flitting around the sun. Shit, 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 It's pulling me in! It's pulling me in! I can't stop it! Ah! It has gravity. It has really strong gravity. Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought that the sun had gravity, Chet? Who would have thought? I just want to know what that thing is that shoots off into space every time like that. And it's always different every single time. Look at it go. I'll find, I'll figure you out. Feels bad. Big thing with gravity? Who knew? I've been playing so much No Man's Sky lately that I keep trying to left click to shoot lasers out of my ship. Quantum moon there? We've been to Adel Rock. Oh, wait. No, not as. Not a, I don't want to scout. I want to take a picture of it. There we go. Thank you. I think that was the quantum moon. I think I took a picture of it in time. No, I didn't. Can you take a picture? I don't think you can take a picture in time. Okay, I've taken a picture of it, technically.
There we go, we got it. That's the quantum moon. That's it. Not getting away from me this time, bud. What are you? Be really cool if my ship could, like, stop sliding like it's on ice. That'd be awesome. really weird, right? Like, it's really, really weird. Ten bucks. Thank you for the ten bucks. Oh? Oh, shit. All right. Oh. Well, that's not... That's not good. Right? Okay. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. You you have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. The sixth location? I don't think I know the rule of the sixth location. What is the rule of the sixth location? We know the one of quantum imaging. The... The eye of the universe? We've never been there. Gravity here is very thin. It'd be really cool if I could... Jump though. I'm gonna try and get it to the North Pole on this thing. No, there's no getting up there. Because I might go outside of the gravity of the planet. I don't really want that to happen. Sixth location. That's the eye of the universe, at least in terms of the symbols they had on the wall. There's my ship. Wait a minute. The whole tower is a quantum object. whole tower is. Where else is it going? If it's a quantum object, then it has to go somewhere if no one's looking at it, right? So if we close ourselves inside and we can't see the outside, that counts as no longer seeing it, right? Maybe?
That is exactly what it is. I turn off all the lights, I don't see anything, and because nothing is seen, the quantum superposition changes. We can get to the eye of the universe this way. We just have to keep doing it until it's the right one. That's the white hole, isn't it? Is it the white hole? I don't know if it is. Could also be that collapsing world. I feel like I'm getting immensely unlucky. There we are. What? You son of a bitch. I don't have to see you if the door's closed. Okay. So something is wrong here, obviously. To go somewhere else. That one's not going to work. Let's choose that. Wait a minute, my location on the map never changed. Did you notice that? The hell is that? I am here, after watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will be making the remainder of my journey on foot. Is the blue one the south one then? Yeah, the red one would be north. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. That's just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. So we always land on the South Pole. What? What? I'm in the gravity cannon. The broken one. Shit. This is how I die. It's 100% how I die. Where am I? Which gravity cannon is this? Okay. Into the black hole. I have to get back to the quantum moon. But my... ship is on the quantum moon. Which makes this... impossible. Time to die! This is it, chat. I've decided to die in space so that I can start over. I'm going to slowly make my way towards the sun. Wait, what is that? Is that my ship? What are you doing? Hold up. Why is my ship just in space?
Wait. Why? What are you doing out there, spaceship? I'd like to know. Oh. Is it on fire? Dude, what happened to my ship? That's fine. I don't understand. Like, what happened to my ship? It's, it's just out here. Blowing up, dude. I guess that's what happens when you go on the quantum moon. I want to see what one of those is. Are those supernovas? All the other stars are exploding. That's what those are. I don't think I'm going to solve the mystery of the quantum moon on this solar cycle. So I'm going to do what everyone does best. Fly into the sun. You want me to land on the sun? It's true. So I have to destroy the sun. Like this. That's me destroying the sun. All the stars are exploding? Yes. So I learned I can get to the quantum moon. I learned that if I'm in darkness, I can move with a quantum object. That's kind of cool, right? Solve some things with that. I didn't know I could do that before. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to move with the moon. At least I think that's how that works. Maybe. I recall the Nomai shuttle from the quantum moon. Gravity cannon. Yeah, let's go find that moon, dude. That was weird. What the hell, ship? I'm just holding up. Go to space, you dumbass. Okay, yeah, we've gotten a picture of the moon. Going too fast. It's fine, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. There we go. So I've learned that we always land on the southern hemisphere of the moon. Always. And if we always land on the southern hemisphere of the moon, then maybe we have to get to the northern hemisphere? Maybe that's what it is? Wait, is this actually the moon?
Wait, what? That's not one of us. Where am I? What is that? He's always dead, but in different states of quantum death? So this planet changes, the quantum moon changes based on what planet you're currently on. I see. Because we landed on it on here, it's there now. But we can't go anywhere because this is the southern hemisphere. So what I have to do is I have to change to here. And see if I can't go to the Northern Hemisphere on the outside. Nope. Not on this one. Maybe if I just keep changing planets. Now we've been there. There. That won't work. Can we get any closer? I need to find out if it's possible to get to the Northern Hemisphere. Looks like no on this version of the planet. I'm going to keep trying to change planets until I find one where I can. Because I think that's what I need to do. It makes the most sense if we're trapped in the Southern Hemisphere. There we go. This one I can go north more? Hey, there we go. I'm able to get more northerly on the quantum moon. It's working. There. Still an ice wall? Still an ice wall. Maybe I'm not close enough. Maybe I need to be closer. We need to make this thing around the planet in different locations until it's the right location is basically what I think this needs to be. Okay, so I can't do it on this one. I have to switch to a new planet now. There we go.
No, that's a mistake. We can't get inside of that. There we go. Ow. I think this is as north as we can get. Oh-ho! I think I've got it, chat. I'm on the North Pole now. Now I just needed to go to the sixth location. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. I was right. But what is it? What? It's just a tunnel? We're just going straight to the South Pole? What the hell is that? Who are you? Oh, he's not dead! Who are you? Wait, what? <laughs> Explain the eye of the universe. There is a fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off of the quantum moon have a similar effect, as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in this star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Identify Eye of the Universe. We are orbiting the Eye of the Universe now. Although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. Okay. Identify quantum moon. This is the quantum moon we are both standing on. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. I see. Explain. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. Quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, the moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum too. Explain me. 
I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you can you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Identify me. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask. If I could comprehend your language, you have my gratitude for understanding mine. Identify you. I am Selenum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we call it home. I am on my first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. All Nomai and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the Quantum Moon remains special to us, as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the Quantum Moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Yeah, what are you going to do with that? These are the two tenets of Nomai philosophy. Seek out and to understand is our way of living. Okay. Well, fine. I, Moon. I imagine if you notice the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giants Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being the moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. From this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. That said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to a specific version of itself once it is consciously observed. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? I mean, that is the eye above us, isn't it? So the biggest thing is, is if that's the eye above us, can we get into the eye? Can we leave this place and join it? I don't think I can. I don't think my ship has come with me. And I think that's it. Hmm. I can combine any of these symbols. We can learn more about it. But I'm trying to think of if there's a way we can leave to the eye. I've learned how to use the quantum shards. I can move around on them. And how does this actually equate to how our, our star system is getting destroyed over and over? Okay, I'm going to tell him me... I. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? Yes. What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you don't mind if I think of you as a friend. Many in my clan have believed the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent, to have lured my clan to the star system only to then vanish from them so completely. But I do not fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday, but I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. You're dead, bud. You'd have to be. You're millennia old. Millions of years, even. They found us 
before we evolved. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. This is the closest any of us has ever come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis, hypothesis that I'm not entirely alive. We are not quantum. I think we've already read this. I'm trying to think if there's any combinations we haven't done. I believe we've done all of the combinations. I do believe we've done all the combinations, chat. There. He's dead. But I'm at the... I was back at the South Pole again. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know you're out there. There you are. Thank you for the prime sub. This is a black hole generator at the top. Okay, where are we at? I understand now. has to be a reason for the gravity cannon. Everything in this so far has a reason. Even if that reason is just understanding why we're here. The sun's about to go again, isn't it? No, not missed it. It moves at an arc. It's like a the gravity cannon just kind of launches it in a direction, and everything else in the in the solar system kind of moves in an arc. happens if I just stay in this thing during the supernova? That's something I haven't tried yet. Well, I feel like I've solved the quantum moon. 
I feel like I solved, solved the quantum moon. There's my home planet. I'm just kind of out there now. Is this thing going to fall into the sun? I feel like it just thumped into space and then did nothing, dude. I thought, oh yeah, it's going to go in a direction, like a super far distance. But in reality, it just kind of did nothing. It just kind of jettisoned. And that's it. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for the sun to blow up while I'm in this thing. That's what I can do. The cave shard. Because now that we know that when we're in the dark, we can travel with the quantum object. All I have to do is go to the cave shard and then use that to teleport to wherever that guy went. And he's probably dead there. Which is bad. <laughs> Unknown. So we can follow quantum fluctuations and find the last unknown piece, too. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, there's an unknown one over there. if we can launch at the exact right second and shoot into the supernova or maybe away from the supernova it's happening it's happening Or is it not? Is it not happening? I heard the music. Maybe I'm wrong. I think I might actually be wrong. Wait, now I'm not wrong. Yes. There we go. Will it explode before my pod reaches it? Glorious. Oh god, wait, the pod's gonna reach it first. Oh! <laughs> well, now we know the pod can't survive the sun. With some kind of amazing pod, I thought maybe it would do it, right? Made 
made by an alien race, maybe it would survive, right? Uh -huh. I learned a lot of that run, though. I learned a lot. I solved the quantum moon. I solved the quantum moon on that run. And now that I know how to use that, I can go to the cave thing. The sixth location. Met a living gnomai named Selenum on the, so the South Pole. The quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. This location, the quantum moon becomes a reflection of the eye itself. The eye is likely the source of all macroscopic quantum phenomena in the solar system. Selenum wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Selenum has a hypothesis that she may not be entirely alive. Hmm. All right. There's the quantum moon, but we don't need that right now. Get away from that giant ash planet. There's a cave on this planet, but there's also that, the gravity cannon. We've used the gravity cannon before, but we don't know what that does. There we go. There we go. That's what I was looking for. This right here. If you any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during our research trip, and has been missing ever since. This is the same one that we read before. Okay, now that we're on it... Now we're in a completely different cave. How curious, this rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. Curious, but also alarming. 
This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared when I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sed sedimentary specimen. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I am not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Melloray is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness. The being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. We learn this on the moon. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Now, is that the only... Are those the only locations this can go to? No, they're not. That's a totally new one right there. Colise is missing. He vanished. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down over there. Miller and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Where am I? Where is this? I don't actually know where I am. Ah. That's kind of a funny bug. I turned away from Coleus to examine a t sample and I turned back. He simply wasn't there anymore. Get a limited air supply. Afraid for him. I love this. Awesome system. Yeah, rock surfing. Okay, we're gonna go to this one. Because this one is an area I don't know what it is. I don't know where it is. I have no idea. Also, the gravity in here is only 0.7. Which is pretty nice. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Where the hell's my ship? Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for all of that. You know. All that. Whatever. Whatever that is. I'm just gonna wait for that to. Do whatever it's gonna do, you know. I'm gonna go this way. Because my ship is over there. And I need to get in it. Because I'm running out of oxygen. So I learned some new stuff. That's interesting. It says there's more to explore there. What more is there to explore there? I learned the whole mechanic. Huh. Interesting.
Yeesh. Big old cactus, dude. So we know how these open. We know that it has to be done through the underground somehow. But the underground is only accessible once all the sand is gone. But the sand only leaves when the sun is about to go supernova. Ow. Oh, wait. Oh. It's our buddy. Oh, it's a portal room. Wait a minute. Where's the timer? Where does this portal to? And what is that over there? Hold up. Okay. This is for a scroll, but we don't have the scroll. And I don't know where this portal room goes to. Trying to make sure I don't get caught by the sandstorm. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's coming. Oh! Hide, hide, hide. All right. Let's just, uh, not get sucked up off of this planet onto the other planet. That would be great. That'd be fantastic. If it could just... Cool, just go away. Thanks, bud. There we go. Now we can plug this thing in. Friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ash Twin Project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin's equator. I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Raimi found me. But the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Kanoi would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to wait for this to teleport me, because we know that this is a teleporter, we just don't know what the timing is. Or where it's going to send us. Is it going to send me to the sun? Is it send me to the sun? What if it did? What if it just teleported me directly into the sun? What if it did that? It'd be pretty great, right? I bet it's going to send me to the Ash Twin. I bet it's the teleporter to the Ash Twin. I think we're on the Ash Twin. I think it's teleported to the other one. Whatever the other one is. Nope. Not to that one. It's interesting. Because this is a black portal. And the black portal generally takes you to the white portal. So you would expect it to be that. And it goes over this spot. Oh, that's interesting. It goes over the comet, too. Hmm. How do you quit your job in a way that teaches people a lesson? The only lesson that you will learn is that you don't have a job anymore. Get another job lined up before you ever leave a job. Always. Oh, here we go. Is it going to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oxygen, whatever. Here it goes.
Oh! Yeah, it worked. What? Where am I? Alright. Okay. I'm on the red side of this. Is there anything over here? Anything at all? No? Is that it? <laughs> Seriously? Well, at least I know that it works. Boing. Gross, dude. Alright, where's my ship before I die? Hello, ship. I see there's a lot less sand now. Very good. So I'm kind of interested in what happens with these. Because you can see we're losing the sand, right? So I'm interested in what happens with... A couple of things, actually. So that right there... Should have some kind of an entrance that we should be able to access, I guess, as the sand disappears, is what it looks like. So there's already this. This is now a thing. And it's coming up from somewhere down below it. So there's got to be something else there now. Eventually, anyway. What happens if we go over this way? Yeah, this was the other one. And it's got these pillars now. A bit strange. I'm going to hide the ship underneath this. Because I'm interested in what happens with the sand. Because we're, we're losing the sand. But also, I need the ship to not get sucked out into space. And so now that I'm underneath this bridge, I should be okay. Is that a goblin? That's a goblin, dude. Yeah, it should be safe under here. Should be. I hope so. Hey, 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 hey. I'm under something. You go away. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, leave it alone. Why? Why? It's under the bridge. Leave it alone. You son of a bitch. It's gonna... It's gonna do me like that? You can put my ship on the ceiling? You know what? Fine. At least it opened up a new room. Look at this. What is this? What is this? It's kind of weird, right? Where's it take me? That's it? That's all it does? Why, though?
There has to be a purpose, right? Okay. We're watching the sand disappear. Is that... Is that it? Oh, oh dear. The gravity is slowly going away, too. What about this one? Is there a purpose to this? Oh god, it's so... it's so light in here. The gravity is just going away because all the sand has moved. It's really not good. Sun's about to go supernova. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's revealing something. What is that? Is this just going to take me all the way to the top? Wait! It is! God damn it! What's the point of this? What is the point of this? Ah! No, I didn't want to go. God damn you. No! Let me out! I don't want to go in that weird one either. I want to go over here. Oh, wait. This is that shell it was talking about. The impenetrable shell that they made around the core of this planet. The gravity is down to 0 0.2 now. What's the point of this? It's so weird. It's so weird. And there's very little time after it happens. There has to be a purpose to this. But what is the purpose? The shell appears to have gone around the entirety of the planet. It's so weird. It's so weird. I wonder what would happen if I just flew in a direction the entire time, the whole 22 minutes. Could I escape? Or is there a way to stop the time loop? very weird. There has to be a way to stop the time loop. Oh, that is it. That is an awesome view. That was a sick view. Would you play the DLC afterwards? Maybe.
I've watched all the sand disappear on that planet. I didn't really get anything new from that, though. Just kind of an understanding that those things exist. Which is a little bit weird. Twin and Ember Twin. So here's a big one. Ash Twin Project. Producing the Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immense thick protective shell. So that's the one that we've seen. Nomai discovered a species of forehead semi-aquatic life forms in the waterways near the mine. That was us. The High Energy Lab. We've already done this. Statue Island. One of the islands on, Jeep, on Giant's Deep has a Nomai statue on the beach, just like the one Gavro brought back to Timber Hearth. Hmm. Gavro's aware that we're in a time loop. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. It says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Hmm. So, Gabro is on Giant's Deep. And he knows that we're in a time loop. So that might be the next one that I want to talk to. Several large Nomai towers from form a ring around Ash Twin's equator. Anglerfish fossil. I've had a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside, but the opening is only big enough for my scout. One of three Nomai escape pods that crashed in our solar system. No, I've never played it before. It's been fun. I've solved many, many things so far, and I'm having a blast with it. Clearly, the Nomai who stayed behind with us lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. Frozen Nomai shuttle. The Nomai landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. I tried to land on the interloper, and it wouldn't let me. Hmm. No, it wouldn't let me land on it. The ship wouldn't enter, like, landing mode. Reach the core of Giant's Deep. We haven't done that yet. My ship would only, like, face directly at it. It wouldn't try and go into, the, like, the turned landing mode. I've tried. Wouldn't let me do it. It's a whole thing.
There's definitely nowhere to land on that thing. That's just asking for death. Like, <laughs> where would you land on this? It's just lava and volcanoes. Boop. There's dark bramble. Timber hearth. There's the quantum moon. We've solved that. Giant's Deep. So the real question is, where did that interloper go? And I don't know. Where is the interloper? There it is. Found it. I'm going to try to land on it again. Because maybe, just maybe, it'll let me do it this time. Because I tried landing on it before, and it just wouldn't let me do it. Might have been a bug. Might have not. I don't know. The surface is changing. Oh, shit. It's really close to the sun. Maybe I need to get out of my ship and land on it manually? Alright. Bye, ship. See you, nerd. Didn't you need you anyway? What is that? Man, I hate that thing. It says camera mode in the top right corner, so I think it's getting camera mode, but it actually needs to say launch mode, as you're supposed to, like, swap it back and forth. Oh, shit. Okay. Ice is slippery. News at 11. Yeah, somehow my ship made it. Who knows? It is a mystery to everyone. So they were saying that they found a crack that allowed them to go inside of it. And I'm trying to find that crack.
I think that would be us just leaving off into nowhere land. So it seems like not the way. Huh. Maybe it's out the back of it? Where the spines are? I am terrified of falling off this thing. And I feel like it's about to happen. Almost at the South Pole of it. Oh. I'm going to go land on the ship and read the, the log again. Because I think the log actually said where it is. Although I'm laughing that my ship somehow made it. I have, I have no idea how. in here somewhere. Landed on the interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system, shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Clearly the Nomai, who studied, who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. Located a fissure on the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descended inside to investigate. The sunward side. Okay. Well, we're able to get to the sunward side because the sunward side is... Oh, that's interesting. It's over by the white hole, though. So this is going to be the sunward side, the baked side, right? A fissure on this side. Well, here's the fissure. At least this is a fissure. I don't know if it's the fissure. There's a lot of fissures over here. It's very crispy. I feel like I don't want to be on this thing when it gets near the sun. I feel like that's going to be a bad idea. You know what I mean? But this is definitely whatever the sunward side was. Maybe I just have to look down through these? Hmm. Maybe I have to wait for it to melt when we get close to the sun? Maybe I'm going to melt when we get close to the sun? I'm going to stay here and wait. I'm going to wait for us to get back close to the sun again. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to sit in my ship so I don't run out of fuel and air.
<sighs> I'm still kind of amazed that my ship made it. I think it's the part that made me laugh. How are we feeling about this game so far? I'm having a blast. I solved the quantum moon, and I think I'm about to solve this thing. I'm on an ice ball, and I'm flying towards the sun, which is good. I'm either going to burn alive, or enter the inside of an asteroid, and then die. Gonna wait here. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Ah, oh, man. Well, that's death. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Man. Shit. How am I supposed to survive? Cool game. Okay. Isn't that the same thing I just did? Is there no way forward?
I doesn't feel like there's actually a way forward. Yeah, it doesn't actually feel like there's a way forward at all. Like, the only thing that I can do is dive down through that. I'm definitely going to die in that. Because I don't have enough HP. The only way I could have survived it is if I had jumped through without taking any damage before this. Oh, shit. Hell yeah, Scout. Look at you go. Oh, here he comes. He did it. Proud of him. The boy. Yeah, I have no idea what to do in here. Legitimately. None. No clue. I really, really like this to be equip scout launcher and then hold that down and then switch to photo mode. Thanks. I feel like if I didn't have ghost matter interactive like I did before, this would have been much easier. But instead, I went down the wrong route. I went down this one, and that did damage to me. If I would have gone this route, I think it would have been fine. But I didn't. So now I'm kind of screwed. I'm even more screwed because I'm sealed inside, and I can't go heal myself. So, if I would have... If I would have gone down the correct path, I wouldn't have taken any damage, and I would have been able to jump down that hole. And I don't think there is a way now to go. Unless this is a way to go. Nope. That's not a way to go. Alright. Cool. And that is the same way to go. This is the only safe one. The only other route that I could go is this here. And this just wraps back in on itself and doesn't do anything. Excuse me, game. I'd like to go forward. Thanks. No. No. There we go. Thanks, game. Good old physics, man. Yeah, it just wraps back in on itself. It's the same shit. Maybe I'm wrong? No, I am wrong. What are you doing here? What the shit? What was that? I don't even know what that was. Was that the sun blowing up but there was no music? Oh, 
The sun blew up, but there was no music. The sun didn't make the noise. I'm going back. I'm pretty sure the sun just blew up without making a sound. Pretty sure. At the same time, god damn it. Where is it? Where's the interloper? Where the hell's the interloper? I need to get away from this planet. Yeah, I don't actually know where it is. Wild. It's just missing. That was the quantum moon. What does autopilot do? Does autopilot just do it on its own? Like all of it? Really? That's kind of dumb. It's a little bit weird, right? I wonder if autopilot's even any good, though. Oh, it totally is. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, look at let me land this time. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, are we approaching the sun or are we leaving the sun? I think we're approaching it. I think it's about time. Yeah, here we go. Let me in. Let me in. I need in. What's the playtime of the game so far? This is the first stream, my dude. I've sold many things, and I'm trying to solve a new thing. Let me in. Show me your secrets. Yes. Yes! It's not supposed to be slippery, that's dirt. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're good. We're good. Made it. 
All right. And here we go. Shit, dude. Go down. The spherical casing, spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact would be almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing. But it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly, un profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Pressure. God, I can't even talk. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagine. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing this star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches this star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke. That's why they were building the shield. That's the reason. And they accidentally let out the ghost material. I see now. They let out the ghost matter. That's not a way out. That's the only way in that's safe. Bonk. Yeah, there's no other way in or out. No other way in or out. Well, we've learned something. We've learned where the ghost matter originates from. And that seems like everything in there. We didn't even have to die for it that time. At least not yet. What the hell was... Oh. <laughs> There's a hair in my mouse. <laughs> I was like, what is my mouse doing, dude? So that was the way out over there. Well, that would be really great if it didn't do that. Thanks. Thank you for that tier one sub. It is going very well. 
I'm learning about ghost matter right now. Deeply horrifying stuff, really. Let me go grab more of that. So I think we've learned everything we can inside of this place. I don't think there's anything else in here. And all we have to do now, I guess, is just wait for the sun to come back. And then we can get our ship. If the ship is still here, even. It'd be really cool if this was not doing this the whole time. There might not be a way out of this. Because it's trying to slide me the whole time. I'm going to run out of fuel. Let's see. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I can't stay up there. I'm going to run out of fuel. Hmm. You know what? I have an idea. I'm just going to do this. It did not take me to a place I've never been before. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna die in the ghost stuff because I can't get back out of this thing anyway. It's gonna blow up. There we go. Ghost material has killed me. It's fine. Oh. Be curious in your journey. Always, always, man. I've learned many things already. The ghost matter has killed me. It will probably kill me again. I think I've learned everything I need to from that, though. Yeah, don't worry, Dad. It's fine. It's fine. It won't be the, the last time today that that happens. There we go. Ruptured core. I found two missing members of the Nomai shuttle crew inside a large ruptured stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. The Nomai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. They determined the exotic matter was both le lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. That material is the ghost matter. For sure. Alright. Ocean depths. Want to see if I can get inside of that thing. So there's a little bit of a mystery I have to solve here. And the little bit of the mystery for this is that flying right around it. A gravity cannon that exploded each time we start over. I wonder if I could land on it. Not if the planet keeps trying to pull me in. You know what? Fine. Yo, God, this planet has such high gravity. Okay. 
It's not unknown. We've talked to him before. A few loops ago, a cyclone came by and tossed my little island into space. Dying like that was kind of unpleasant. Where should I go explore in Gi Giant's Deep? There's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabber rel relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the only one of two islands connected. Well, natural rock arch. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. You rock, dude. It was very nice of you. Oh, there's his ship. Kind of messed up. Oh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's like a safety tornado thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. It's gonna stay here. Stay here until the gravity is back. Alright. There we go. What? Well, alright then. Jesus. This place is actual hell. Okay. I think I understand. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it out into orbit around Giant's Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you going to... <laughs> are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Malo and Avon's behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. If I know my brother, Avon's, and his spouse, will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Malo a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Makes sense. That's the thing in orbit that keeps blowing up. Gotta do this quickly. Long-range probe successfully launched for the orbital program five minutes and 49 seconds ago. I have bad news, Avens. Yero says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my loco locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were, my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem. So the orbital probe cannon is in an indefinite hiatus.
Tell Privet and Malo that they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I re will remain at the construction yard for now. Malo and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. I can't hear text-to-speech, but the rest of chat can. And if I look over and see your donation message, I'm just gonna hit that. If there's a bunch of sevens. You literal goblin. Oh, the game's freaking out. There we go. Where is this? Okay. A little weird. I wonder if there's stuff under the water, too. Looks like not really. Didn't look like there was anything out there, anyway. A little bit weird, yeah? Wait, what the hell? Oh, that was weird. The magnets tried to work very oddly. Thank you for the 100 bits, Zephyroth. It's very nice of you. Okay, let's try this one. That's interesting. There's a location I haven't seen before that's on Brittle Hollow. Whoa, what is going on with the game? For some reason, the game really doesn't like some of these locations. It's really odd. Kodoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank beneath the current. Kusava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool, if I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. You should have seen it. We'd thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. So if we want to get to the core, we have to go to the Gravity Cannon and the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Save me! Oh, it got me. It got me, it's fine. 
just gonna chill. I'm gonna chill for a minute. I came on really fast. It's gotta wait for the gravity to come back, that's all. It's gotta it's gotta wait for the whoa. Alright, looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. It's fine. So it looks like I've done all of this. The way to get into the core is to use something that's part of the gravity cannon. I have to go to Brittle Hollow's southern pole. Well, see you, giant horrible planet. I hate everything that you are. High gravity sucks. I really love the way that the visuals in this game look. Like, honestly, just the scene... The scene setting for this is just really beautiful all the time. It's really beautiful. There's the quantum moon again. Solve that thing. It's weird. Quantum moon is definitely very weird. The sun's starting to turn red, so we don't have much time. That's not what I wanted. That's fine, I guess. Need to go to the southern pole. And I don't have a huge amount of time. Holy shit. Ah. <laughs> ah. This planet sucks. Nope. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. I forgot how much this planet sucks. Oh, my eyes. God. God damn it. So anyway. I hate that planet. Planet sucks. You ever just, like, fall into the core of a planet and then appear out somewhere in space, dude? Feels great. No. In, please, thanks. So I still don't know what that thing is. There's like a little pod got shot out. I don't know what that shit is yet. I understand where the ghost matter came from. I understand some stuff about Ash Twin. The Ash Twin project is using a whole bunch of energy, but we don't know what that energy is generated by. We also know that the Ashwin Project is using a shell that's around the planet, and it needs to be incredibly powerful. Hmm. I don't know what it needs to be so powerful for, what it's defending against. Maybe the supernova? Maybe they knew the supernova was going to go off? Maybe the... Maybe that... weird ghost matter thing? Maybe this is what they were afraid of, and they built the shell? I don't know yet. I don't know yet.
doing it. Here's one of those things. This has got to start soon, right? I want to see the moment that it begins. There it is. It has begun. So there's some things on this planet that I want to investigate this time. Because I feel like there's still stuff here that I didn't get to see. You can see it's got some of those portal things on that side. It's got portal things on this side, but this planet has an interior shell. Something that's meant to be... able to withstand pretty much anything. Is the planet shrinking? Yes. Its matter is being pulled away and given to the other planet. Its sand is. It's very weird. You can actually see it happening. Look at that. See it going downwards? Isn't that weird? Yeah, because there's some stuff on this. Like, I haven't gotten inside of that. I have no idea how to get inside of that yet. And I found some teleporters on this one last time. Not size, but mass. I mean, the sand is decreasing, so it's still size as well, technically. Yeah, there it is. So right now the gravity is 0 0.7. It'll get down to, I think, 0 0.4 is what we saw last time. So the gravity actually decreases as it goes. And all the sand is going over there. And this is the thing I can't get inside of. But I'm wondering if there's going to end up being a way underneath this. Because we saw door openings in other areas as the sand decreased. So I'm going to look around the whole base of this thing as the sand decreases. I'm just going to wait for it.
and wait for it right here. Wouldn't gravity increase if the planet size increases? I mean, yeah. The planet size is decreasing, technically. The amount of mass is going away and the, the sand is receding. You guys know you never actually move in this game? It was at zero, zero, zero. When you walk, the universe actually gets shifted around you. Did this as the map was so large that they got floating point errors? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty common thing to do, actually. With incredibly large maps like that, that is a, that is a normal thing to do. Yep. That is so insane. Look at that. Well, there we have a bridge from one to the other. I don't think there's anything going on just yet, though. Not that I can see. It is still receding. And the sun is not near supernova yet. Oh, well, that's funny. Oh, it's so much better. Jetpack auto boost. Oh, it's so much better. It's an option you could turn on. It just it feels right now. Yeah, look, the gravity of the planet is down to 0 0.5 now. Now it's 0 0.7. So it was decreasing a minute ago. That's interesting. Waiting for it to shrink a bit more. It's still shrinking. You can see it going. Look at it go. Oh. I'm so sorry, Zephyroth. It's a little deeply horrifying to look at, you know what I mean? No, 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 no. Jesus. God damn. There's a ceiling here. Ow. My bones. My bones, Chet. I guess there's no way into that building. But wait a minute. Hmm. 
Have a nice voice. Thanks. I think what I need to do... I'm going to teleport over. I'm going to teleport over to the other one. I think I may have wasted too much time. Because I think I'm... I'm wondering if teleporting from this one to the other... Because we, we have to get... We have to get somewhere using this. And it... I, I don't even know what it took me to last time. I think it was too early in the game. Drink 100% cranberry juice and that'll solve your bone problems. True. You won't have any bones anymore. Fine line in this game between sheer genius and total damn assery. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to be a sheer dumbass. I think that'll work, right? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm doing it. I'm gonna launch myself... I'm gonna use this teleporter to launch myself to the other planet in the middle of a sandstorm. Seems fun. Seems like it might work, you know? You won't? Oh, I'm going to. I'm doing it right now. Here it comes. I didn't do what I thought it was going to do. I made a huge mistake. I thought it was going to teleport me, but instead it just did this. Now I'm going to die very dumb. It's it's actually sheer dumbassery. I thought it was going to be genius. It was not genius. I don't know what's happening, frankly. Actually, I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening right now. I'm going to die. Oh. Oh. Ugh. So anyway. Uh, I don't know what was supposed to happen there, but I don't think it was that. You know what I mean? Drop landing gear? Yeah, all that landing gear that I have. They're called legs. This was one of the escape pods that we already found, I think. Yeah, escape pod 2. I already got that one. Well, I'm gonna go die somewhere. Because I don't think that's what was supposed to happen. I don't think that's what I wanted to happen. I feel like that teleporter worked before. In fact, they know it worked before. Oh, wait a minute. What is this doing? Yeah, we already did this, too. We did this one. Into the ghost matter. Kill me with the ghost matter so I can start over. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, ghost matter, for resetting this. I'm going to try and get back on that planet and use that teleporter, because last time I used the teleporter and it was fine. And I don't know... I don't know what changed. What makes you think you worked it uh, worked before? Because I was on it. I remember using it. No, I think I used it last time. The black, the black portal launched me off of that one before. Maybe it's because I was using the other one. I think it was using the one on the left instead of the one on the right. I don't know. I have a lot of questions. Chat is just all smiles. Fantastic. Good. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again, chat. Also, I still haven't landed on that thing around the sun, but also the sun is terrifying, so I probably won't do that.
like a glove. When does it start stealing sand? Do it. Do it. Yeah, eventually the sand will just cut that planet in half. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It has begun. Now we just need to follow it until I find that building again. snow This planet's nuts. What a weird system, right? Okay, there's the solar arrays. It's starting to power up. All these planets are nuts? Yeah, they're crazy, dude. They're super weird. And I love that about this. The thing is that I think is interesting is there's no quest. I guess the only quest is like, stop the supernova, right? That's kind of like your only real objective, frankly. Oh, hey, I remember you. Get out of here, interloper. And even then, it's not even like a hard limit, right? Hi. Why you like this? Real Miracoon? Thank you for the 100 bits. You're an astronaut on launch day? That's the game? Nah, it's not, it's not really the game, is it? It's not really the game. There's so much more to it than that. So much more to it than that. And right now, I'm watching all this sand. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is what I was after. Alright. I think our ship gets left alone here. We can just watch that do its thing. She gets left alone. Good. I'm just going to wait for the gigantic cosmic horror to walk past. There it goes. get back on the ship a little too early. Little too early. Just a tad.
Oh, is this still too early? Oh, damn. It might actually still too be, be too early. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There it is. Come on. Let me in. All right, good. Okay, that one is broken. This one is not broken. I'm going to use this one. Oh, here it comes. It worked. Kind of. What? That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Son of a bitch. So maybe it is the other one I have to be in. That one I did before. And that one didn't do anything. So that one sends you to, like, an open world thing. I think this one might send me to something different. Mostly because I see this dude trying to get into it at the last second. Which means he probably knew some shit was going on and he needed to save himself. Also, my ship is out there. It's probably bad for him. I'm going to go grab that real fast so I can get some... Some O2. I mean the O2. We're going to come back up here. Ah. All right. So I think what I'll have to do is like stand in this so it doesn't try and pull me. Yeah, his plans didn't work, but that doesn't mean mine won't, right? Thank you, by the way, for that 100 bits. That's very, very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. So you should know. Yeah, I think the other one, this is the one that I didn't do before. And the problem was, is because the ceiling is broken, it pulled me out. So I have to hide. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we can hide here, because there's a, like a bridge over it? I don't know yet. I'm gonna try this. I can also press control to, like, jetpack downwards while I'm doing this. Let's do it. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! It totally was a different portal. I was right. The hell is this? 10 minutes, 28 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Mass received data from probe tracking module, Giant's Deep Memory Statue, Timber Hearth Memory Statue. 12 minutes until end of cycle transmission. How does it know the end of cycle? What is this? Wait! We've seen this. I saw this before. Does that mean that there's three of them alive? Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved. We will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. 
How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I still can hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Oak just sent back the warp core for the final tower for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Cassava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe gamut cannon. Where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. We have a memory statue, that's how that's why this is working. Hypothesis, it was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. The cores could have been forged faster if Kusava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is that we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Rude. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me that cannon is doing well, and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can go to a device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai on board the cannon? Or is Mallow part of the problem? It's another one of the statues. It's the memory statue. Blox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. I and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power that Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task, in more ways than one. They induced the explosion. They, they induced the explosion. They wanted the explosion to happen. That's what powers the project. Why? Why go through the process of of keeping all of the animals safe, keeping all of the plants safe, and then blow it up. Knowing you're gonna blow it up. I have good news, Zero. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued. Everyone here is working in the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Hi is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oh no. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Remy and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would, the more eyes the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin Project could lead to disaster. What if they didn't mean for this to happen? What if there's a crack in the shell? We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin Project. Here's what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. They couldn't end it at will. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station. To generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the Sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea. 
but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin Project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Fortunately, led to a lot of their deaths. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project, Flonks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as the safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin Project, the statues and their mass will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it will be impossible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. I've become aware. Artificial gravity control. Uh, I'm going to leave that on for a second. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin Project. You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is active. What if I... What if I just... Do that? I didn't know what that was. I didn't realize that it had gone a full 360. I need to go back. Where is it? No, it's got a supernova. Shit. Oh, come on, man. I need this big sucky planet to show up. I don't even know what direction it's coming from. Come on, man. Come on, man. I just, I just need to go back. I need to go back before the sun explodes. It's gonna blow up. Feels bad. Please. 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 Oh my god, dude. Finally! Oh yeah, this one blows. The other one sucks. The other, the, the other planet is the sucky planet. Come on. Did it? Okay. Okay, the gravity is off. How do I... No, I don't want that. How do I... How do I do this? There's gotta be a way to turn it off, right?
Oh, I see now. It was creating gravity by spinning. I understand. What is that? But wait a minute. Isn't this going to send the message back in time? If I fold this out, and the sun goes supernova because the message is already sent, isn't this going to stop the message from going back in time and I've just broken the time loop? Am I dead? I'm pretty sure I'm dead now by doing this. I think it just broke the time loop, but in the bad way. I mean, I guess we'll find out in like four minutes. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go back to the sand planet. Alright, well, I have this now. Oh, that's probably not good. Yeah, you know... Maybe this is bad. Oh boy. Well. Well, chat. I don't know if there's any coming back from this one. I may have just accidentally destroyed myself permanently. Plug it back in? No. No, I don't think I will. What do I do with this thing? Now I know how to get it. I don't know what to do with it. At least now I understand that it exists, right? So if there is a time loop somehow... Oh, hey. Look, our best friend's here. I want to die in space. Steal me! Yes! If I'm gonna die somewhere, it's gonna be up here. I also still haven't been in that. I don't even know what that is. I have no idea how to get there. I want to get the best possible view of this.
Is it not even going to happen? I think this is the longest it's gone. I'm pretty sure this is the longest it's gone. Maybe because I took the warp core out? I don't know. Hey, Nam of the Norse, thank you for the raiding party of 43. Oh, here it goes, here it goes, it's actually happening. Well, now that I've taken the warp core out, I actually don't know what's going to happen. Because now it won't send a message back in time. Oh! Well, uh, <laughs> well then, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty, that's good. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's an end. I beat the game, guys. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go investigate other planets. Oh, wow. It, it full killed me. Like, it straight up real killed me. For realsies. So I found a warp core. And that's clearly part of a grander puzzle. Yeah. It's probably it's part of a grander puzzle. So what I'm going to do now... Because I'm going to take us to a planet we really haven't explored, which I think is the Bramble planet. I think it's the only one I really haven't done much on. If I could see the damn thing, where'd it go? Okay, we've already done that. I've done all the stuff on the weird quantum planet. There we go. Dark Bramble. Uh, uh, autopilot? I think you made a mistake. <laughs> what an autopilot, dude. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, what a good video that is. Fantastic. Autopilot's dumb. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. What an autopilot. Starts autopilot. Instantly murdered by the sun. Okay, now I'm gonna autopilot it. No, I'm not. I'm I'm not engaging autopilot this time. So I have never been on this planet. I don't know anything about it. It's really, really weird looking. Yeah, it's a really, really weird looking planet. Legitimately. It's very strange. Where can I land on this thing even? It's made out of ice. Maybe in the core? How do I land on this thing?
There's lights inside of that? What is this? What the hell is this? Okay, there's the core core. But what is what is that? Oh. I see. I understand now. I understand. Holy shit! You win, you win. I'm not, I'm not looking at you. I would like to... I would like to not have that be a thing ever again in my life. Oh, what the shit, dude? How many layers deep does this shit go? Wait, what? How are you supposed to get past that? That ain't right. Okay, I gotta find a different... What? Wait, what? Wait, what? I backed out of one and I backed out of all of them? Holy shit! Really? Really? Just like... Just you open right into the mouth, really? There's no... There's no, like, gameplay option there, there's no anything, you just... you just dead. What the shit? I feel incredibly gimmicked. I feel incredibly... incredibly gimmicked. Infinitely so. It's not even a jump scare. It's just like, what do you? What, there's no gameplay option. Where's that goddamn planet? I will find a way. Past its bullshit. Knowing this game, there's probably another way to get in there, too. Hmm. I have an idea. Uh, that's... Stop it. Stop falling into the planet. Oh my god, stop. 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 That opening was just one gigantic white light, which is called death. That one is also one gigantic white light called death. Oh, I guess not now. Okay. We are we done being death? There's a distress beacon on this planet. Now that's more interesting. It's coming from that. 
I wonder if I move slowly. Because the red one didn't do anything. It just sent us into another dimension of this. And I backed out of it. It was... It was done. I wonder if moving slowly stops them from seeing me. Or maybe turning my lights off. Which... I turned my lights off. There we go. It's going to slowly go towards this. Well, I'm moving towards it. I'm not moving very fast, though. But I guess that's fine. I... It seemed like the first time they didn't originally notice me until I made a sharp turn. So maybe... Maybe it's based on quick turning action or movement? My jets being on, the lights being on? But I am interested as to why this white light has the distress beacon. Because the red light just sent me into another level of this. And when I backed out of it, I left the planet. Which leads me to believe that it's a... Red herring. Funny. You playing a mouse and keyboard? Yes, I am. It's all fish related and it's red. It's a red herring, Chet. I can hear the thing below me making horrible noises. I'm not a fan. I was right, look. What? Why? Why? Was it- Oh, you know what it was? I tapped W. Son of a bitch. No. Oh. I tapped W and it activated it. I'm an idiot. At least I understand the mechanic now. That's what anglerfish do. They f they will kill you based on movement. It's the whole thing with them. Pretty cool animals, actually. And they're just big anglerfish. Big ol' anglerfish, man. I will find a way through. I think this is exactly what it is. Because the thing is, is I saw this place with the distress beacon before. And that's also, the distress beacon is going off, and our harmonica man is here. What are you doing? There we go. Autopilot was doing some stupid shit. As it usually does. Dude, all of these planets are horrific. They're honestly insane. What was that?
Oh shit. Unlucky. Really unlucky. It like spawned this in front of me. Okay, there we go. Is there another tree root in the way of this shit? Go, 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 go. What the hell, game? Okay, there we go. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. The hell is that? Oh, god damn it. Giant moving bullshit in here. There it is. There's the third escape pod. That's the one we didn't know where it was. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted, and anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Seca, is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here, quickly. Well, now we know what happened to them. Begin flight log. Escape pod 3 vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from the vessel. Now launching escape pod 3. Multiple collisions have altered the pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigation error. Wait, navigation error? Stop wiggling. Game. Oh god, my character won't stop moving. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potentially hostile. Verdict. Do not exit pod. That is not what I want. Damn thing. There's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone, and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther of the two beacons, Din. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Yeah? Emergency escape hatch. There it goes. Ah, oh, shit. 
All right, here we go. Stop moving. Now move this way. There we go. We're just going to glide through so we don't get eaten. Just glide on through so we don't get eaten. Because I don't want to get eaten anymore. That was the big bullshit that hit my ship earlier. That thing sucked. Oh, gross. I don't like that. Get away from me. Oh, man, there's a lot of dead here. To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed, yet the opening is too small for even a single Nomai to fit through, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel, and yet still so far away, is... difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon, we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now, but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope, is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. That is... not good. Do I have to go inside that? That doesn't seem like something I should be inside. I'm afraid to go in that. I guess I can go in it. Ow? I guess not? Oh, I guess it's going in. Wait, what? So I can't go in it. But my little pod thing can. Oh. Oh, I see. I understand. Where's my goddamn ship? I need to get back to my ship before I suffocate. No, no, I'm holding space so that you stop bumping me. Stop. There we go. Ah, oh, made it. So I get a duplicate signal inside that red one, which means that the duplicate signal is actually where it really is. So if I go inside of that, we're good. I do have to go in the red one this time. That makes the most sense to me.
It'd be really cool if the game would stop bumping me all over everything. Shit. God damn it. Error duplicate signal, error duplicate signal. Which one's the duplicate signal? I guess th this one's the duplicate signal? Or is that one the duplicate signal? Did you just get eaten? No, I did not. this one. I hate this one. I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna have to do it. Okay, there we go. We're good. I didn't notify any of the other guys. Rush it! Oh, what? I hate this. I hate that. They should reset. That's super annoying. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. Because it's, it's rotating. It should be different entrances. It shouldn't be the same every time. That's so annoying. Mm. Mm. I actually don't like that mechanic. Legitimately. It's the only gripe I've had so far. I don't like that mechanic. I think it's boring. I don't think it's interesting. I think it's really annoying. It's the only one that I haven't liked so far. And the game has been phenomenal outside of that. I just don't I just don't think that that is fun or interesting to have to deal with the fish like this. That's a pain component. Yeah, I find it to be a pain in the ass. It's not interesting. Everything else is fine. Yeah, the anglerfish not resetting is specifically what I'm saying. The anglerfish alone, they're cool. But the anglerfish not resetting like that, that's stupid. Is there even a reason to go there anymore? Yes. I have to go and do the whole thing over again now. Oh god, I screwed up. I screwed up and I'm going too fast! Alright, there we go. We're fine. It's fine, it's fine. The anglerfish themselves are actually quite cool. The anglerfish are awesome, but... Oh my god, ship, can you go faster? Can you just... Can you do anything? Whatever. Yeah, the anglerfish themselves are actually pretty cool. Um, I don't have a problem with those. The problem that I have is them not resetting after you leave the environment. That should reset. Because just having them at the entrance to the doorway the moment you walk in is kind of shit. Why would organisms just reset? It's supposed to be realistic. The entire universe keeps resetting every 22 minutes. I'm sure that there there can be a reason for them to reset in their micro dimension that just keeps resetting anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm 100% willing to suspend disbelief as well. From these goddamn fish. They're not interesting. I don't find them fun. I don't find the not resetting fun, guys. I don't think that's a bad thing. You're you're allowed to have one shitty mechanic in your game. Oh shit. It'd be great if my ship could just stop moving for five seconds too. That'd be awesome. 
Autopilot damage, cockpit damage. That's fine. I don't give a shit about any of this. Um, let's do this. Where's my distress beacon? Seriously? Where's the distress beacon? Oh, it's that one. I have to go fast because my ship is being stupid and it was moving at a weird angle. No, 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 no. I'm holding shift, you idiot. God damn it. Why do you have to move like you're in butter half the time? I don't understand. What is going on? What are you doing? Sometimes it moves like it's in butter. Sometimes it moves like perfectly fine. And I don't understand it. Okay, stop the ship. Stop the ship. Holding space. Okay, I can't do it. That's the environment? No, it's just the ship sometimes does it like it's in butter. And I don't really know why it does that. There's no, like, kind of rhyme or reason to it. Now I have to go back through and do the same thing over again. Which is fine. Please stop, ship. Ship, please stop. Please, I'm holding space for a reason. Can, can you get out of the thing? There we go. Okay, what needs to be fixed? Stop moving. There we go. No, don't... Ugh. Cockpit's repaired. Is there anything else that's broken? There's something else on this thing that's damaged. Or is that it? Is that the only thing damaged? Alright, that's fine then. Why are you like this? You absolute goblin. Thank you. The tier one sub. It's very, very nice of you. Okay, I have to go this way now. And I need to go shoot my pod into that thing. Maybe I can't use my ship. Maybe the problem is that I'm trying to use my ship here. No, nobody wants to translate. Stop that. Hmm. I don't know yet. Yeah, most environments feel just fine with the ship. In here, the ship feels like it's basically in molasses or butter. Randomly. And I don't find that to be great feeling. And you couple that with instant death mechanics, and it's kind of obnoxious. It could be more fun, is basically what I'm saying. The rest of the game has been very fun. This part, not so much. And I have to know what's in there, because it's... that's the point, right? Okay, cool. Am I stuck in this thing? What am I in? Wait, I fixed that. What the shit? Okay. Very cool. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, where's my duplicate signal scout? Now, the one we want is the red one. Man, it'd be really cool if you didn't bump that. Stop it. Okay, it's hitting walls, it's doing stupid shit. Okay, I guess I just don't touch anything. I guess you just don't touch anything? Holy shit. The scatter's down there. Why am I going so goddamn slow? Oh my god, it's gonna take 50 years, but if I move, then I die. What is that? Like what? It looks like they're eggs. Okay, scout. We're following it. What is that? It doesn't look like there's anything in here. There's the vessel. Game, please. Can you... Can you stop being in butter for five seconds? Thanks. There we go. A lot of dead dudes. This looks like it was their main vessel. Because we haven't seen a ship this big. Yeah, we haven't seen a ship this big yet.
Interesting. It'd be really cool if I could stop wiggling for five seconds, please. Well, I don't know anything about that shit, so... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're telling me that I have to get the warp core and bring it here in the time limit? Jesus Christ. That is outrageous. That is, that is outrageous. I need to find out what the symbol that goes on that is. A lot of dead guys up here. Is that it? Is that all we got? There's got to be some kind of a hint on this. Ah, there we go. At least something written. Super weird. To any know my clans who vessels can hear this message. It's clear the universe is dying. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now, so my clan and I believe the best option is for all our clans to stay together. If you can reach the gloaming galaxy, we found that Blackrock's suns are fairly stable, and life in this star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, know you will be on your own. Kenna, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neen? His clan was on its way to our vessel, but they never arrived. And he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell. The disappearance of Eskal. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, Eskal's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clans searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped out of existence. That's no myth, friends. Eskal's clan existed, and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told that story when they were young. Are you sure it's true, Hissop? It was very long ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors searched for Eskal's clan for a long time. But in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It's the only time in our history a vessel has disappeared this way. Hissop, I hope you aren't comparing Eskal's story to my clan's vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't. But nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright spark star system exploded. 
and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll meet you again oh, we'll meet you soon, Kenna. I'm relieved your clan is safe, Neem. It's good to hear your words. Any vessel near any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. What did you guys do that caused this? This is the Skull's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp, and our vessel is mortally wounded. We need help as quickly as possible. Our vessel appears to have... Has it fused with the local environment somehow? There are vines that are now part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside. We're abandoning our vessel. Any Nomai clans or spaceflight capable species receiving this message, I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. So, I don't have whatever that needs. I don't know what it needs. It needs some kind of set of symbols. My guess is some puzzle that I haven't solved yet. So I'm going to head back out. And take a look at my... Whatever it is. My uh, ship log. Because I don't know if there's anything else here. It looks like it's all covered in brambles. That being said, getting back in here is going to be a bitch. Maybe even five bitches. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, so we did the Ash Twin Project. We got Escape Pond 3, the Nomai Grave, the Vessel. What do we have left? Orbital Probe Cannon. Anglerfish fossil? I remember that. Yeah. Quantum moon? We did the quantum moon. Sound of the observatory. Ocean current discovery. Revealed how an object might sink below. The Nomai at the southern observatory constructed a model of giant steep that revealed how an object might sink below the strong current. At the southern ob observatory? Brittle Hollow South Pole. Okay, we're going to go to that. I'm going to do that. Brittle Hollow South Pole. Because then we can find out how to maybe get inside the core. Because the thing that is that was before is it has a big ocean current bubble around it. And I couldn't get through it. I think when I leave this, it's just going to leave the whole thing, so. Yep. Oh, it's about to pop. It's about to pop. I'm not going to get to do the other puzzle. It's time to die. Yep. Might as well drive straight into it then. On it. It's time to make KFC, chat. It's time to make KFC. Because we need another 22 minutes. And I have an objective. Southern Bramble. Gotta go to the Bramble world. Nine hundred and forty-four million different symbol sets you can put it on that ship spire, so maybe you can brute force it. Yeah, it seems insane. Impossibly insane. Yeah, I think it was a good one. I think it was a really good one, actually. Learned a whole lot of shit. I gotta go to the Bramble one. Let's see. Is that the Bramble one? That's Brittle Hollow. Yeah, Brittle Hollow. That's the one that we need to go to. The Southern Observatory. I believe it was the Southern Observatory in Brittle Hollow. Pretty sure it was.
Yeah, Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory. That's exactly what it is, not Bramble. Isn't the Southern Observatory that bubble dome that we weren't able to get inside? Isn't that exactly what that is? Let's see where I am on this planet. Yeah, that would be the Southern Observatory. Can I get inside of it this way? No, because that would be too easy. This one won't open. There's going to be another way in. But how? There's got to be some way to do this, huh? Maybe like an underground cave somewhere. I'm gonna get in my ship and see if I can't find a good spot. Jesus, that shit is terrifying. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. No, not you. So this one has lighting on it, so we can't do it. However, this goes underground. So that might be exactly what I'm looking for. I think this is exactly what I'm looking for. Yup. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Southern Observatory. Tower of Quantum Knowledge we haven't beaten yet. South by 550 meters. It's gotta go this way. Well, that's not useful. I guess we can try and do the Tower of Quantum Knowledge because I wasn't able to beat this before because I didn't know how to do it. You're welcome to this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you're making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. I already did the moon, though. How does one ascend the stairs? I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense.
Because we can do this, and then we can't anymore. There's gotta be some way, huh? The funny thing is, is, we did everything on the moon. What is that? Oh, that's just... That's just a warp thing. The crossroads, East 190. That's a crossroad area. Okay, I understand. So that's not quantum. At least it's not quantumly bounded anyway. Nothing in here seems to be. Yeah, nothing in there seems to be quantumly bound. Huh. <sighs> No quantum binding. Underneath this, maybe? No. It says the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That means surface integrity. Huh. The only thing I can think of is the darkness thing. But we can't have the darkness because these goddamn lights are everywhere. And nothing in here is quantumly moving anyway. With no quantum movement, I don't know how I'm supposed to solve this. I'm running out of air. Gotta get out of here. That's super weird. I'm trying to think of how that could be solved with absolutely no quantum movement whatsoever. And I have no idea. None. Most of the other stuff that I've seen in this has been pretty straightforward, I think. That one's going to be a mystery for a little bit, I think.
Preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Okay, that shows me where the Quantum Moon is. There's some information there. Nothing in there is quantumly moving. Nothing at all. Hmm. Alright, little ham, you have a good one. Nothing in there is quantumly moving. That is quantumly moving. But it has light on it. So we can't get it to move. The moon just moved. You can see that there. Wait a minute. Does the moon moving change the puzzle in any way? No, it doesn't appear to. No, it doesn't appear to be changing the puzzle in any way, at all. Huh. I don't know, then. Terrifying. Yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe if, maybe if I, like, looked at the moon and the moon moves, because that's what it does each time you see that moving, that's the moon moving around, then maybe that would change something inside of the puzzle. But I guess not. There's nothing going on in there. There's got to be something interacting with it. Just can't see what it is. I've already read those hints before, Bruce Malt. Those aren't those aren't new. Like all this stuff. It's already we've done all these. I've been here before. Although I don't believe I've been down this way. Oh yeah, I have. This just sends you into the core. I don't want to deal with that one again. Not what we want. There's also a lot more of this that's missing, too. Like, not just this part is missing. A bunch of this is missing. If 
First pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Send these stairs and obtain the last of your knowledge. Send these stairs. Send these stairs. Those are the only stairs. There's definitely no way to get up. It's supposed to just be a walk through, but there's no... Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's gonna break my shins that way. How? How am I supposed to climb this damn thing? How, how, how? The tower shard is the only one that's in here. There's no other quantum fluctuations, wait. There's a cave shard over there that's infinitely far away. Wait a minute. This is a weird idea. I I think I know what it wants me to do, but I'm not sure, and I'm going to try it anyway. It's not... Come on. What? 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 God damn it. Planet fell apart. It's time for another round. The planet fell apart. That's why. The planet fell apart. It got hit by all the volcanic explosions, and it fell apart. That's why I kept saying surface integrity 22% and all that stuff. I didn't realize that's what it was doing. <sighs> Choice of death? Thinking. Because what I was thinking is maybe if I use the scanner down there, that would work. But... But... <sighs> That didn't make any sense. Because the scanner down there wasn't actually doing anything. Hmm. Hmm. There has to be a way to get inside of that thing. I can't use the probe. The probe doesn't seem to matter. Unless I put the probe on the roof and then have that spin around. That's the only way to do that. Because you'd have to... I mean, that... The thing that I'm thinking about is if the pillar can actually go up, right? If the, if the pillar can or the pillar can go down, and then we can use it as a climbing platform, but it doesn't appear to go down like that. And I, I, I don't think that's how that works. Maybe 
Maybe it's not with the scanner. Maybe there's a different way. Maybe it's not the scanner at all. Maybe it's the time. Maybe the fact that we were able to destroy the surface like that was the point. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I have a stupid idea. The timeline is about to collapse. But look. No, oh, god damn it. Out. God damn it. Drop it. Oh my god, drop it. Ah, it pauses. Welcome, Selenum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. Why? That was such a weird way to pawn, like do this, to be honest with you. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon. Shouldn't be exploding, time should be paused. It's not pausing time. Remember this final rule, to explore the sixth location, the shrine must be in the Pole's North Moon. Be curious in your journey. I already did that! I didn't even need this puzzle! Oh, I didn't even need the puzzle! I didn't even need it! No, God damn it! No! No! All right, fine. It did not pause. It didn't. It was supposed to pause. I already did. I already did that. The quantum moon is already solved. Son of a bitch. We solved the quantum moon. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I did the quantum moon really early on. I was like, wait a minute. It changes every time I turn off the lights. Just went for it. That one was fun, too. Now it seems like it's hand-holding me to solve that puzzle, which is very funny to me. Oh, man. Yeah, I solved that puzzle early on, and now I think it's hand-holding me to solve that puzzle. Wow, okay. Are you... What is... What is wrong with this? You know what? I'm going into the sun. This thing's dumb as shit. What are you doing? What are you doing? I told you to autopilot, not run into the planet. You dumbass. What is it doing? Is it stuck on a tree? It's stuck inside the collision of a tree. Okay, let's pull away from this planet. I didn't even... I wasn't even piloting it. It was autopilot. I gotta get out and fix this damn thing. Uh. What? You know, I'm just gonna... Just gonna... Just gonna land on that. Primogen! Rating with a party. 1,833. How's it going? Ow. Hi, I'm dead. How's it going? 
How's, how's it going there, Chet? I'm dead. I'm dead now. Good landing. It was pretty good. I bounced. I bounced. I'm in space. And space is full of weird shit. Nice to meet all of you. My name is Thor. I've been in the gaming industry for 20 years. I used to work at Blizzard Entertainment, then Amazon Game Studios, then United States Department of Energy. Uh, last job was hacking power plants for the federal government to find vulnerabilities in our power grid so that we can keep ourselves safe. And then, uh, I also have three black badges from DEF CON, if you know what that is. And uh, I quit. I quit all that. Now I make my own video games. Oh, did you guys actually get ads? Is that what it was? F. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry for your ads, chat. Now I'm going to go land on this planet. But I'm going to turn on autopilot. And hopefully not explode this time. Because autopilot hates me. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday, don't believe them. I am currently playing... Outer Wilds. And this game is very cool, actually. It's really good. But right now I'm trying to solve a puzzle. I don't know how to do it. God damn it. Nope, nope. Like a glove. Like a glove. Outer Wilds is the game name. I've done it. Thank you for the raid, by the way, Primogen. You're fantastic. I'm sure your mustache is very powerful today. Hope you're having a good one. And yeah, nice to meet you all. You guys are fantastic. But yeah, ask me anything you want, man. I've been in the gaming industry a super long time. Super long time. Doing all kinds of things. Why there's snow? Because I'm on a planet that has snow on it. I'm on the northern... No, I'm on the southern pole of this planet right now. And I'm trying to find a way to get inside that dome. Because I have no idea how to get inside that dome. Which is not good. So where's my ship? I'm trying to find a way to get inside of this thing. However, I don't think this is the right way to do it. I'm going to go back to my ship. And we're going to see if we can't get back down inside towards the core again. Thank you very much. Thank you for that tier 1 sub. You rock, dude. I'm really glad I don't have to do those goddamn fish for a while. Anymore. Ah yes, meteors. Very cool. Okay, that's not what I want. Where is it? That's not what I want. Where's that goddamn dome thing that we found? Is that on the northern pole? There's something that we need to find. Is it this? Is that what it is? No, that's not what it is. What if I do this? This seems like a stupid idea. That's actually the thing that I need. I wonder if I can land, like, right here. <laughs> can I do it? Oh, come on. Come on, let me do it. No, it won't let me do it. There's not enough room. There's got to be enough room somewhere. Wait, have I found this guy? 
Yeah, I totally have. What's up, dude? Tower of Quantum Knowledge. That's actually where we need to go. Okay. What is that? Do you see that? The crossroads. What is that one down there? Do you see that one down there? That goes somewhere weird. That goes up into that. So I wonder if there's ones down there like that on the other side. You gotta think in 3D. It's the only way. There has to be a way. October's Pokemon Go Community Day is Timber, which is one of the best fighting type Pokemon you can get. Nice. We'd love to see it. I'm going to be playing Monster Hunter because Monster Hunter. Uh, Monster Hunter now is freaking amazing, dude. It's fun as shit. I really, really enjoy it. And they don't even pay me anything. I just enjoy it. Yeah, I've never played this game before. It's completely blind. I wonder if we could make it over there. I feel a little bit more confident now in doing this. Maybe. Does that even aim at the right direction? It kind of aims the right direction. Oh, I did it, dude. I'm a god. Oh. Where am I even going? I have no idea where I'm going. What even- what am I even doing? What is this place? What am I even doing? <laughs> Dude, I have no idea where I'm going. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shit. I'm in the right place. I know I'm in the right place. Because this is the Southern Observatory here, but how do I get in? How do I get in? Is it around the goddamn corner? Is that what we're doing? Do I have to go inside and around? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's gravity crystals. I'm dumb. Huh? Alright, we're good. We're good. It's fine. Everything is fine. Shit. How are we... What? What? How... Alright, well... Where am I? God damn it. You ever just... You ever just do that? You ever just fall into space? Thinking maybe... Maybe you had something you just didn't have anything at all. And then you're... You're looking at a white hole. And you're very sad. You do that in your life? You ever do that, Chet? I feel like I've done that. I feel like I just did that. I feel like it just happened to me. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna beat my head. By doing this. I'm just gonna fly directly towards the sun. Slowly. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna launch that. Goodbye, Skep. Bwong. 
You think something out here could hit me, maybe? You think it could happen? Because I'm not going to survive. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance, chat. There's no chance. There's no chance. I'm pressing forward. I'm going too fast. Whatever. Into the sun. I can't even hit the sun now. <laughs> the physics. The physics. What happens if I shoot a scout into there? Oh, it's going, dude. Yes, yes. Fuel level critical, I understand. Wait, did that just go through the sun? I think it did. I think I'm gonna suffocate because I can't even hit the goddamn sun because I'm just so fast. I don't even know. The game doesn't even know what to do. Well, I'm just gonna... I'm going to suffocate in space. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to slowly, slowly suffocate in space. And you get to hear me breathe to death. The raggedy breath. What is your objective in the game? I'm starting to find out what that is. I'm trying to get inside of that southern observatory, and I was really close this time. And I just don't know what to do now. Subway or Jersey's mics? That's not even a question. Neither of them. <laughs> Let's make a sandwich yourself, you lazy ass. Oh, oh. I'm back. I'm back. It's fine. I'm caught in a time loop. I'm caught in a time loop. And I can't get out of here. It's 22 minutes. Over and over again. And I need to find a way to stop it. And also... Also not blow up our sun. Which is definitely going to blow up. I don't even know if I can stop the sun from exploding, frankly. But right now, I need to go to a place called Brittle Hollow. Because Brittle Hollow has an observatory on it. And I have to get inside that observatory. Somehow. I have no idea how. Fake Thor? No, not fake! Just 22 minutes, Thor. That's all. Let's see. We need to wait for one of those to break into the into the planet. That's what needs to happen. And then I can I can use that to fly my ship into the planet. What happened in the 35 years, Thor? Nah, just 22 minutes, dude. That's all I need. Would you happy birthday me? It's not my birthday. How dare you? Well, here it comes. Little lava ball egg. Break the surface. Break it. Break it. Break it. They're hitting. 
We just need we need them to break the surface a little bit. And they will eventually. Just not yet. Good. Good. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I can get in this. Ow. Shit. Alright, there we go. I don't know if that's good. I felt like that was going to pull my ship in, but I think it didn't. I think it just did some stupid stuff. Alright. Like a glove. Like a glove, Chad. See? Like a glove. Bwong. Aww. Like a glove, dude. I don't want to fall back into that. Because that sucked. Alright. I don't actually know how I'm going to make this jump, either. The last one was so good. And then I, I died to the, the wall bullshit. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping I can find a way across, because I don't know... I don't know what that way across would be at this point. Ah, oh, shit! Woo! All right. This is fine. Everything is fine. Ugh. Okay, okay. That's not a good one. Sense of direction go wild. Work brain in 3D space. Oh. Reminds you of when you played Portal for the first time? Yeah, if Portal was in space and you died every 22 minutes, I would agree. <laughs> All right, so, we're here again. I can get back here quite quickly now, at least. You son of a- I slipped. I slipped off the goddamn edge. I slipped off the goddamn edge, Chet. I'm so full of hate right now, you have no idea how much hate I'm full of. I'm full of an immense amount of hate, I didn't even get to try. I got all the way there and I didn't even, did, I didn't even get to try. Slipped on the goddamn ice. I'm so f there's so much hate in my body right now. It's an immense amount of hate. I'm gonna go inside of this thing now before I blow myself up. Because now I, I don't think I have enough time to maybe I do have enough time to solve that puzzle. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it'll be fine. Let's just let's just do the thing. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll be fine, you know? There we go. How much time do we got? Like, 10 seconds? I wonder if that'll launch me into a planet that actually has my... ...has my ship on it. Maybe it'll launch me into the right planet. Never even heard of this game before? This game is something else. I've been playing it for about 10 hours. And, um... I really enjoy it. I really do. I've solved a great number of puzzles. And I... Ugh, I'll never be able to play it again. This is the kind of game you can only play once. 
And that may seem weird. It's like, oh, why would you only play it once? Well, you learn things. And those things matter to the game's progression. So eventually, you just can't play it again. Because you know it all. I find that to be very interesting, frankly. Ugh. Oh, that hurt. I love the thump, dude. Okay, oxygen tanks are filled here. Let's actually get a... Ah, ghost matter is in that. I know there's a gas canister in here somewhere, isn't there? Pretty sure there is. Is there gas here? Give me some gas. No gas? Really? I'm just going to not have fuel and just wither away. Oh. Well, that guy did. Ah, very good. Good old ghost bullshit. My favorite. Let's go down here. Okay, no ghost bullshit here. You ever just vomit before? You ever do that in your life? Jet? Anybody here? Set up a Trello for the whole team to handle the new Pokemon idea project? Wait, what? Confidant, you don't work for me. You will never work for me. You literal goblin. And we don't use Trello. We have respect for ourselves. What's the matter with you? Bad and you should feel bad. There's a bridge up here. I don't think I've been on this bridge. Huh. Oh! Got it. This is weird. This is all new. Oh boy. School district. Meltwater district. Eye Shrine district. Black Hole Forge district. So this is the Meltwater district. Okay. Ugh. Never get used to that shit. Ugh, God, it's... Why? What is going on here? Why is it wiggling like this? Ah! <laughs> Man, he really doesn't like doing this. Am I brown boundary breaking? Like, what is going on here? I don't actually know what I'm doing. <gasps> no, come on. Okay, why can you not walk up this now, but you could before? Stop it. It suddenly can't walk up this, and it could before, and my character's bouncing? Like he's falling constantly. What the hell is happening here? Yeah, I'm totally boundary breaking. That's not what's supposed to happen. Oh, didn't need those shins. So anyway. My shins hurt. Black hole forge controls. Oh? What is that? What the hell is that? 
What the hell is that? The Ash Twin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? We know where that warp core is. We have the warp core. We know how to get it anyway. Before we die and then it goes away again. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poke was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and the others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Another scroll. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good Naomi or Nomai perished there. My mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. What Melloray and I learned from that fossil could would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested in a live specimen. Is it starting to teach me what I already learned? Is that what it is? It taught me what I already knew. I learned that intuitively inside of the anglerfish area. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, Recall the present when the vessel crashed, said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. We know the warp core on that vessel is destroyed. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in the fish fossil, fossil fish cave when we were children. We found that. I think I have to die again. That seems like the plan right now. I feel strange trying to recreate a Nona's warp core without him. At times, it feels like st it feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. This will always feel strange. Even though my time with him was short, I miss my old mentor, and deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but... I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw Nona's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. And if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Still, all I can give is my best. And as Nona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clarion Root in the Forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Here we go. I'm almost out of fuel. It's really bad, actually. Wait, what? Oh wait, it goes that way. 
Never heard your voiceover. It sounds really nice. Well, thank you. Shit. All right, there we go. I'm trying to use as little fuel as... Ah, oh, god damn. Interesting. Okay. Okay. There's a way out here. So now we know that there's an entrance there. Yeah, that's a shortcut. A good shortcut, too. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, well, it's really not looking good. I wonder how much time I have left right now. I'm definitely out of fuel, that's for sure. It's looking bad, Chet. Could you give us a recap of what you learned so far? Um, I went to a moon called the Quantum Moon, and I was able to find out how to solve that uh, by finding an old man and moving a bunch of stuff. Basically what it was is I had to get from the Southern Hemisphere to the Northern Hemisphere, and I managed to do that. Uh, I found a warp core, and I found a ship that I need to put the warp core in, but I don't know the codes to get into it. And the only thing I really have- I guess the only thing I really haven't done is get into this damn Southern Observatory. That's the only thing I haven't done. And I'm betting that the coordinates that I need for that, that ship are going to be in there. And I'm kind of just waiting for the sun to blow up right now because it's gonna. It does every two, 22 minutes. There, I mean, there's two, there's two mysteries left. I need to get into the core of the water planet, and I need to get into the southern observatory. But the southern observatory has instructions on how to get into the core of the water planet, so I need to get in there. Wow, this place is screwed up. It's not good here. You're also waiting for the sun to blow up? Well... Who thought the wind sound was his character breathing? My character is breathing in there. That sun is not looking healthy, though. Yeah, so I've done all kinds of stuff now, man. The problem is, is on this run, I'm basically out of fuel. Because I used it... unwisely. And that's a mistake. Although I have a good way of getting back to where I was now, and I just have to do it again. Using oxygen as a propellant? That's a thing? Shit. That's a terrible thing. Wow, that is... That is not a good thing. I kind of just want to hear the music again, Chet. I kind of just want to hear it. I wonder if we can make it. I wonder if I have enough oxygen to hear the music again. I got three minutes. Is three minutes enough? I don't know if it is. Oh, the surface integrity is very high. It's 79%. Maybe there is enough time. Where's the way down? There's definitely a way down in this. I think my plan of using my ship to get inside of there is just a better plan. Legitimately. I think it's just a better plan overall. Ow. Whoa! Ow! Ugh. My boats! <laughs> Look at my phones. 
<laughs> I'm so badly injured. Did I visit the interloper? Yeah, I got on the inside of it. Well. I guess we get to survive for the music. Barely surviving. Barely surviving, Jen. Boong. Right, there we go. I think this place actually has a gas canister on it. I'm pretty sure. Which is quite funny. Yeah, it's right there. Oh. It's starting again. I learned... I learned a little bit this time. I learned that there's another thing in there. Some kind of a forge. Which I don't know what the forge does. No idea what the forge does. It's fine, though. the quantum moon and now it's gone there it goes there it goes twenty two more minutes this has been a good twenty two minutes jet it's been a good 22 minutes with you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Never tastes good, Diane. It's not good for you. Tastes bad. Tastes bad every time it happens. Blech. Reminds you of Majora's Mask? It's kind of Majora's Mask, -y, yeah. Let's go to space. Wow. Wait. What is that? What is that?
Is that is that the satellite that we found? If it's the satellite, then I know what it is. It might be the satellite. Okay, it's the satellite. We're good. We're good. It's the weird satellite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We found that thing. I was just like, what the hell is that thing? It's going to be some other bullshit in this area. Have you tried ramming the satellite, though? I have not. And I feel like that would lead to my untimely death. And I like being alive. Is the game any good? Yes. Yes, it is. It's very good. And I'm hoping autopilot doesn't get me murdered right now, but it absolutely might. Okay, it's not getting me murdered. We're good. Now that we have a shortcut into there, I'm just going to use that. Now that we know we can get back down in this. Where was it? I hear it. It's to the left. There it is. There we go. No battle pass game is mid. Can't believe you're like this. Execute him immediately, chat. I need to turn on this thing. No, I need to go down here. And then do this. And that will raise it up. And now I need to find a way to get to it. Because now I have fuel this time. Wait a minute. What if I just jumped on it? Hmm. I might try to jump on it while it's moving upwards. I don't know if that'll work. I don't know if it won't work. But also it looks like there might be another way. So, I'm gonna try this one first. There's some new knowledge over here. What is this? Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the solar system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. There's more. What is the eye of the universe? 
The eye is older than the universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age. Or perhaps its lack of age? The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? Hmm. Hmm. Bunch of philosophers. Yeesh. Well, I don't know if there's any way up to go. Shit! Shit, 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 No! Why? Oh, I'm going to die on this, aren't I? Yep. Blurp. Blurp. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I thought maybe something would break, but I guess not. I'm I'm real bouncy today. It's fun. Hey, you try doing a platformer in space where everything is made out of butter, all right? Oh, wrong one. <sighs> Sounds like a great, great game premise. It's this one. That's this game. Are you also made out of butter? Yes. But it's like that slippery kind of butter, right? You're like a marble covered in slippery butter. That's that's what I am. Now oh, here we go. Ugh. God, I hate that. It makes my organs feel gross. I don't even know why I'm walking around this corner. Yoink. Hmm. Out. Well, at least I can get back here fast. You know? Oof. There we go. I'm gonna try something stupid. I'm gonna try something really stupid, Chet. Something really stupid. God damn it. It'd be really great if I could go up some freaking stairs. Nah, I'm not gonna make it. I thought it was moving slower than it was. Oh well. I 
That's fine. I'll learn some new stuff over here. Explanation of festivals. Oh, we already know about this. We've already read this before. I know all about festivals. Interesting. Hmm. There has to be a way up. There has to be a way up. Shit. Ah, that would have been death. We hate ghost matter. They just had to open up the, the comet, didn't they? Didn't need him, it's fine. There has to be a better way up. Spooky, scary, ghosty matter? Pretty much, dude. Because this is broken at the top level. But we can leave here. And that top level goes way, way up. Yeah, there's no way to get up there. I'm going to go around this way. I think this is the area I've already been to. But I'm, I'm going to see if there's a different approach for this. There we go. Something new. I imagine I've been hard on Poke again. This in turn means I've been making... I've made things difficult for her sister, Clary. Cassava. If Poke and I are oil and water, Clary is our emulsifier. She certainly makes us a better team than mixing... than would mixing through shaking, although sometimes I would like to shake Poke. Jokes aside, suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with Poke. That would be immature of me. I should apologize, at least to Clary, who could then tell Poke. <laughs> It's funny. There's the tower over there. We've been there before. I don't want to fall back into that black hole right now. Oh, come on. There's got to be a way. Okay, there's no way straight up. Try my best. There wasn't anything to latch on to. Wait. What? I missed? Gravity wing! Oh. 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 Oh, that hurt. Oh.
Well, I don't know how I'm not dead. But I caught that with my face. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna find the nearest object and... There we go. Yeah, that'll... that'll buff right out. Start that over. Uh, it's fine. I didn't... I didn't need that... I didn't need that brain helmet anyway. I didn't need it. I didn't need it. I don't think getting the the engine matters right now. It feels wrong. Something about whatever's going on in there feels incorrect. And I don't know what it is. I can't believe it's all butter. Butter always has been, dude. Always has been butter. Please, game. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, 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 alright. That's where I need to be. Now, here's the real question. Can I cheese it, Jet? Can I cheese it? Come on, ship. Come on. What are you doing, ship? No one said go backwards. Get in there! Get in there! God damn it. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it fit. God damn it. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. Is there a bunch of damage on this thing now? God, that's annoying. There we go. All right. All right. This is fine. Sometimes you just want to break the video game, you know? Sometimes you just want to you just want to ram a ship in a place it's not supposed to go. I don't think that's weird. I think it's fine. Okay, we did it. We did it, it's fine. Alright, this is fine.
So this is what I did last time. And the problem is... We ran into a problem here. Now I can stand on this. That's not the issue. It's this gigantic, horrific wall of shit right here. That is the problem. And no way to get around it. I don't know how thick that is, and I'll just die if I touch it. Oh, wait. There we go. Okay, okay. God damn it. There we go. Alright, alright. We're doing it. New progress. New area. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. New area. New area. It hurts. Wait, what? Oh? Oh? But what are you? About to find out. No. Oh. Yes. I'm inside the thing. We saw this in the visions before. Oh. Show me the projection. Okay, so this ties over to the deep water planet. What's it going to tell me about it? Conoy Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Conoy, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, and but our sink uh, shank sank straight to the core. Thanks, Brent. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomena myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory and reveals how an object might sink below the current. This is exactly what we read before. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to show you. So now we're here. Number one. We can open this door now. It won't be open after 22 minutes, but that's fine. Number two. This. Is it. Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Actually, I want to play with these first. Whoa! Wait a minute. The one that spins clockwise pulls upwards. The one that spins counterclockwise pulls downwards. I have to find a tornado that pushes downwards. Okay. I get it now. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. There are cyclones Kasa in, uh, Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Coney is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? <laughs> yes. The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> Counterclockwise is what we want. I thought that was a hole. Weird. Very weird. Alright, we have the knowledge now. We have the knowledge. Where's my ship? Oh, wait. My ship is inside the planet. 
about that. Uh, about that. It's probably not a good thing. It's probably not something I could go get, you know. Uh, seeing as it's inside of the planet. So. I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... You know, try and find... Any type of way into the planet. Ow. Maybe I can just... I can just do one of these. Well, that's cool. Ah, ah. I want to wing it around, dude. See how fast it can get going. Using gravity. Use it as a gravity sling. Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Uh. Gravity sling? We're gravity slinging. Feel level critical? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> no, this little maneuver is going to cost us 22 minutes. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It's fine. The crunch means it's working, okay? It just... The crunch means it's working. I've learned something, though. I still need to find out why that thing keeps exploding and what it's shooting out into space, but that's fine. I know that it's shooting a pod. I still don't know why. Yep. Alright, that's the satellite. Where's our big, horrible ocean planet full of sadness? That's Brittle Hollow. We don't want that one. Okay, there's the twins. We don't need those. Bro, where is it? There it is! Oh, hey, look! It's got the, it's got the creepy moon right now. Yeah, the creepy moon. It's when you do this, and you look away, and then it's gone. Basically Starfield? <laughs> no. This is a video game. That's what this is. A good one, too. Very different. Alrighty. We need to find the one that turns counterclockwise. Clockwise, 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 counterclockwise. You, my beautiful friend, I'm here for you. Okay, that's the core, but it's electrified, and I don't think touching it is a good idea. What are those? Are those jellyfish? What is he doing? Look at that thing. This whole place is weird. Can I poke it? Can I poke it? I'm gonna poke it. Ah! Well, that wasn't very nice. Electricity bad, chat. So everything here is electrical. Those are going inside the core. I need to find a way to interact with those. <clears throat> How do I... Oh, you know what? It damaged our electrical systems. Maybe I don't have a need for them anymore. 
because my electrical systems are gone. Maybe I can interact with it again? Maybe? Shit. I was wrong. Thought maybe, you know. No, 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 no! <sighs> you know, you ever just this... You ever just... You ever just, you know... You ever do that? You ever... You ever do that in your life, Chet? You ever maybe... You ever maybe detonate like that? So anyway... I'm stuck on this planet. There's a lot of tornadoes here. I don't have a ship. Probably gonna die. Probably gonna get shot into space in a second here. Oh, wait a minute. No, that one... That one turns the right way as well. <sighs> How do I get inside the goddamn core? I just want to get in the core, Chet. I'm going to try and do it without a ship. This can only go well. Oh, come on, man. Why can't I... Why can't I get close to it? There we go. Come on! It's moving so fast! I can't reach it! Shit. I can't reach it. I think it's pushing me away, actually. It whimdy. It whimdy, Chet. Yeah, it won't grab me. I gotta be in my ship. Is there a way to die, just... Intentionally? Is there a way to do that? Out here in the boundless shit of space. Can I get on this one? Am I just stuck like this? Please. Please throw me to space so I can die. Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Alright. Well. It's been real. Island? No island! I thought maybe... Maybe I could die that way. Maybe... I was hoping, maybe. Oh god. So I have to find a way inside the planet. I'm gonna try and use all my... my fuel. It's a slow process. It's a slow process. I think I'm just gonna let my oxygen run out. There's no good way to die here, which is unfortunate. Is... oh, uh, did CC die? I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks, dude. I'm fighting something in Monster Hunter while I wait. 
three minutes of oxygen remaining. There's got to be a better way to die than this. This is like the worst possible... Oh, wait, wait. Is that a... That's another tornado. I was hoping it would be rocks or something. There's stones over there. Wait. Is that an island? You mean I might be able to get something out of this run anyway? Oh, wait a minute. Like a beautiful dolphin. Burning, burning fuel is not as easy as you think it is when you're in water. Oh, thank God. Yeah, fuel only goes for that 100% up there. Wait a minute, there's a thing that I haven't done. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Also, this place has two times gravity, which sucks. It's the goddamn worst planet on the planet. What is this? Statue workshop. I haven't been in there. Oh, shit. It's a new place. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is where they make the statues. This is where they make the statues. My death was premature. I want to live. I want to live. Let me live. Yeah. There's so much to learn. I don't know anything about this place. Much to learn. Tornado! Okay, this is one of the tornado pods. So when the tornadoes come, you can survive. Alright. Alright. Wait a minute. Wait. A minute. This is all new. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But uh, what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lammy. That's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flocks will let us see the test later. So there's another way. Ugh, I hate this planet's gravity. Okay, that's the way we came in. Ship log updated one ship, though. Hey, don't worry about it. Alright. I sent it back into the past before I blew my ship up. Don't make it weird. Ugh. I'm excited to, for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. Okay. So how are we inside the island? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think there's an entrance underneath it. But I don't have a ship. Oh, let's see if this works. Yeah, it totally works. I'm a genius. I'm a genius, chat. Look at me go. Solving things. Learning stuff. Opening doors. 
Oh, shit. I need to get the thing. I need to get the thing. Ah, oh, saved. So anyway, there's tornadoes out there, and they've removed all gravity in this area. And now we're good. Yero, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. Oh, shit. The game just crashed. It just turned off. Or not? What? It unturned off. I don't know what just happened. That's fine. Whatever. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Flox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memory to his or her own storage. Oh god, the liquid unit within the Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. There were only three that had masks. Only three of them have stored memories. Everyone else is lost forever. That's exactly what it means. Shit. Yep, that's all it is. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine their experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their mass will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be impossible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Yes. That's the engine. One, two, three. There's only three of them that actually have their memories stored. Unfortunately. That's the sixth location. Shit. Hmm. there's more knowledge up here but I can't reach it because gravity is too high I guess it, yeah they were doing the uh, the carving here look at this energy up there I guess I have to wait for a tornado to go off and then ride it over because there's no other way to do it Because gravity is too high in here. I don't know if we can. I don't know if there's enough time. Supernova? I think the supernova is going to happen soon and I'm going to run out of oxygen too. Which is not the best. It's fine, technically. I'll check it out, Protovex. I haven't seen it yet. Relic Hunter's Legend? Yeah, I haven't seen it, dude.
I still think I have to use the jellyfish somehow to get into that core. I still do. No, I didn't delete the message. It's a bot. Uh, when you're not subbed, if you try to link to something in chat, it automatically deletes it, dude. The tornado is coming. Ow. That's fine. It's fine. I didn't need that brain case anyway. I'm curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? So it's just them talking about the ethics and the outcome of this. Running out of oxygen. Slowly dying. Well. Time to blow up, Chet. My ship is gone. I've learned some things. It's time to explode. The hell is that? Oh, we've been there. Okay, good. Try to drown myself. You can talk to the chill out on the island before you go out. He's my favorite. No, I can't. I don't have enough time. There we go. Aquaman. There has to be another way to use those jellyfish. There has to be. Because the core is electrified, and the jellyfish can move through it. What if I was just approaching the jellyfish wrong? Sometimes you wake up, like, really raggedy. I'm wondering if I just approached the jellyfish incorrectly. It's the only thing I can think of at this point. Okay, we solved a bunch of this stuff. Nice, nice. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Feldsborough headed off to Dark Bramble after reach, uh, reaching the core of Giant's Deep. There's got to be something with those goddamn jellyfish. He reached the core. He went inside the core. <laughs> that core is the key. There's something in there that I need. I don't know what it is. There's something in there, and I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to find it. We're going to find it. We're going to learn about it. And once I learn about it, the game can't take it away from me anymore. 
Need to find the counterclockwise tornado. Well, that's a weird looking thing. Oh, shit. Thanks, bud. Where the hell did it go? I need to land this thing real fast. We gotta repair that. Whoa, okay. What? It just sent him to space? Okay, let's let's just land for a moment. Let's just do that. Okay, let's do that now. Please, game. Please, I'm holding the button. There we go. That's the counterclockwise runner right there. Lucky. What is what is happening? Are you not doing it? Are you just not cool enough? Oh, thanks. All right, there we go. The electricity is touching the top and the sides. What about the bottom? Oh, come on. That was cool. No, stop. Stop it. Shit. I think it was working for a second there. I think it was actually working. I'm going to try that again. No! It was not working. God damn it. I'm gonna blow up now. I don't even want to blow up. It's a reactor problem. How do I fix it? Where's the goddamn reactor of this thing? No, 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 no. Come on. know there's a way to get inside this jellyfish. There has to be. It's the only thing that's going inside the core. There has to be a way to do this. Shit, man. Am I just doing it wrong? There has to be a way to do this. There's electricity coming out of the top of the damn thing. There's electricity coming out of the sides, but there's not electricity coming out of the bottom. ship was the problem. The ship was the problem.
They're jellyfish. There's nothing inside of them. Oh. Is that how jellyfish work? It is now. Oh god, it's going inside. Oh! Yeah, ship log, of course. I definitely have a ship right now, absolutely. You stop doing that, game. I hit the Windows key on accident. No, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. I know I'm really injured right now. And I really don't want this. Okay, you can't use mouse, or you can't use spacebar in here. It doesn't work. No, 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 stop. Stop. Holy shit, man. It's touchy as shit in here. Alright, there we go. Ugh. Holy shit. Ugh. I'm really close to death. Okay, cool. Yeah, eyeball masks. Yes, we've seen these. What the hell is this? The hell is that? What the hell is that? Uh. The launch module. Okay, so that's the thing that blows up at the beginning of every run. No, actually, let's not do the ash projections, then. Let's do the launch module. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. Wait, 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 the coordinates! The ship. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once, anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Malo. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. We have to get another probe thing? Is that what I need to do now? Is that what this is? Oh wait, wrong thing. Exciting news, the Ash Twin Project is almost prepared. Okay, I've read this before. Yeah. Probe tracking module. Yes. They talk about the cannon. Another one of those. That's a weird thing there. What? Okay. Bwong. Okay, so there's the probe thing. What does this one do? That's a thing! Printing shred. Those are the symbols. That's it. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Yeah! Is there any of these I didn't do? Did I not do this one? It's weird that it's like liquid gold. 
That doesn't hurt me, so that's good. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Wait, game, no, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me. I would like to go back to where I was, thank you. I want to see what if... I don't like any of that, whatever that is. That's, that's upsetting. That's what I think. That was really grim. What is that? The Eye of the Universe. Okay. Retrieving previous launch date from Ashtwin. Number of probes launched 9.3 million. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the Eye of the Universe found by probe 9,318,054. I print screened it. Yeah, we're good. I print screened, I print screened it. That's the probe after it. Interesting. Well, we have everything we need. So... What I need to do now is I need to go and get the core. I need to bring the core. I have to get the core, I have to bring the core. And then after I bring the core to that ship... I have to input the code. Okay. I just, I'd like to... I guess I'll die. <laughs> there we go. Ow. I'm gonna die immediately, by the way. I just want to see if there's anything else inside of this creepy core. Kinda doesn't look like there is. It kinda looks like that's the only thing in there. But I'd like to... You know, at least touch it. It's kind of weird in here, you know? I thought that was moving and it scared the shit out of me. Anyway, I'm gonna go zap myself to death. What? There we go. I have the route. I know what I need to do now. I have to go to the ash planet. This is going to be tough because half of our time is going to be wasted by waiting for the ash to disperse. It's going to be really hard. This is going to be really hard. You start the game this stream? Yes, we did. Frustrating. The anglerfish are going to be really frustrating. I think that's going to be the big one. There we go. You want to know how long the stream's been up for? It's underneath the stream. It's linked on there. Every stream has that.
go. Please, please ship. Stop bouncing. All right, there we go. Ugh, the sun. I'm a programmer. I can't look at that. Lana Lux, rating with a party of 402. How's it going, dude? Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a very good day. I am playing Outer Wilds for the first time. And I've just found the next puzzle I need to solve. And I'm really excited about it. Oh, look! It's the creepy moon. Watch this. And it's gone! I love the creepy moon. Okay, so this is not the one I need, I think? Or is it the one I need? I need one that has a bridge on it. Is the moon significant anyway? Yes. I've been there. It was weird. It was incredibly significant. Um, it was a strange place. It was a very, very strange place. Okay, this is, this is the one. This is it. We don't want my ship to be damaged. So I'm going to try and park it here. Because we will need to pick this back up. There's a moon made out of cheese. God, I wish. How much of this needs to disappear? It's the next round, isn't it? Or was was I able to do it even on that round? I think I can cut some time off. No. I could not do it on that round. It's the next round. That's fine. That is fine. We can do this. Also, nice to see you all, you guys. Hope you're having a good day. And I am doing a puzzle in Outer Wilds. I have learned so many things about this solar system and all the weirdness therein. And I'm down to a part of some very critical, strange puzzle. And I don't know what will happen when I solve it, but it's going to take very specific timing. Very specific timing. All the sand on this planet is going to the other planet. Come on, I think it's right here that I have to be, yeah? I think it is. Oh, it is. The other planet's going to approach from that side. So this one? It's this one. Okay, so I hide inside of this so the tornado doesn't take me. We wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Okay, I'm inside the other planet.
I need you. Come on, 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 come on. Put you there. Turn gravity off. Put you up. Take this. Where's the damn way out? There it is. Okay. Ow. Goddamn suit puncture. There's always got to be a stupid cactus here. Where's my ship? There it is. Oh, that's a lot of sand missing. Let's move. What? Why is the music playing? It's not time. It's not time. You better not. You better not. You better not. Don't you dare do this to me. I'm on the clock, I'm moving, I'm moving. The music is playing, but it better not be playing. The sun's not supposed to blow up yet. It's not supposed to happen. Oh shit, come on, dude. Stop it. Where's my distress beacon? Why has there got to be a spike in the way? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to gun it. What the hell, dude? I hate these goddamn spikes. They're literally the worst. We'd have to go this way. Because we can just do this. I don't have to do this outside of my suit, or outside of my ship. You do it in the ship. There, it's in.
There's the duplicate signal. You piece of shit. I hate this thing. No! God damn it! It detected me even though I wasn't moving. That's the end of the run. I gotta do it again. You have to start moving in the beginning, and the moment I started moving, they detected me. You have to move. It doesn't work otherwise. Uh, okay. I gotta do it again. Yes, yes, yes. Game over, I know. Very cool. It was really solid. There's things I could do better, though. We'll do it better. It's fine. It's fine. We'll do it better. We'll do it better. I learned some stuff on that run, too. Yeah, I learned some stuff that I could do on that run to make this better. The music started, I thought it was going to reset the universe. I was like, not again. Because it was way too soon. This game is nerve-wracking? This part is. This part is super nerve-wracking. You have to not move. You don't need a controller? I don't use a controller. I use mouse and keyboard. No problems. We got this. You finished this game today? I don't know. I don't know how much more game there is. Maybe? You think keyboard is more difficult than mouse and... Wait, you think mouse and keyboard is more difficult than controller? I have not had a problem moving my character at all. I have not had a problem whatsoever. For this, 100%? No. Not at all. Maybe this is why the game is butter? No, it's the physics. It's 100% just butter physics, man. That's all. Did you go 10% speed and not trigger them? On a controller? Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, to be, th to be honest, I just need to not move the ship at all. I need to not touch the keys whatsoever. And I did that the first time that I got in there. And I just need to do it again. Whoa. That is not what I wanted to do. I keep trying to hit Q and E to rotate my ship. Because that's what I'm used to doing in, like, space sims. And that is not what those buttons do. Okay, that is one of the, s the solar panels. It runs the entire thing. Are you butter? Yes. Chat is butter. And there it is.
I also need to dump this screenshot. Okay, I've got the screenshot on my other monitor for the code. We got this. I got this. Okay, this is where I need to land. There we go. And it's not this time around. I believe. Yeah, I think it's the next time around. Make sure I don't get pulled away. Make sure the ship is safe here. Come on. Come on. Nope. Shit. Where is the planet? Okay, there it is. That was too close, but that's good to know. Stabilize, goddammit. Holding space for a reason. What are you doing, game? How was that? Alright. Made like way extra noises there, and I don't really know why. Gonna be on this one. If this isn't the final quest, I'll be kind of surprised because it is the only one so far where it's like thread the needle. All the other ones have been like, oh yeah, just do this thing. Look at this item. Like, go to this place at this specific time. This one is like, do everything perfectly. And it's difficult. Like, mechanically difficult. Do you have the DLC? Yes, I do. But I haven't used it. We have it uninstalled currently. Because chat told me it would spoil things for me, and I, I decided not to do it. <clears throat> That's the wrong one. This one. Now we wait. Here it comes. Got it. Faster than last time. Dramatically faster than last time. The music started again. It's not the end of the world. It is specifically 
tied to that item. It's a lie. There we go. Distress beacon. Which way is the ship? That's the ship. That means this way is where we need to go. Nice. Didn't know you could do that before. Last time I think I opened up when I got to 1.5 meters. Yeah, 1.5 kilometers. Yeah. There's that weird... Angler eggs. Looks like fish, fish row. I think I'm gonna wait a moment. I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer. Okay, now.
We're in. There's no more anglers. I just have to get in and use the code in time. And not blow myself up on accident. Is it this one? It's different this time. Come on. Come on. Let me in. Come on. There it is. There it is. There's the warp core. Wait. This. This has to go over here. There we go. What is it? I can't get out of here. Do I do it again? Doesn't do anything. Oh, we can go down here now. Here we go. I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving appears to be older than the universe itself. I never went down here before. What's written on the wall? We already checked that before. It's our first contact with anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. Let's go wait. I need more time to send an outgoing message. Couldn't we tell another clan where we're going? We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. And we can't lose a discovery this incredible. Focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Anona, is the vessel ready to warp to the signal's approximate coordinates? The warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. That shouldn't create a problem, provided we arrive at or near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. Okay, there's nothing over there. It seems like that's the only way out. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. That's a black hole, though. Is that going to send me back to the white hole? I'm going to ask... Okay, hold up. I... I only want you to tell me one thing. 
If I jump in that, does it send me back to the white hole and I have to do all that shit over again? That's all I'm asking. Nothing else. Just go in. Oh! Oh god, I was so scared it showed a white hole for a moment. I was- I was shitting myself. Where am I? I was- I was so upset. For just a fraction of a second. I was like, oh! Oh, it's gone, gone. Oh. Gravity is 2.4 times. This seems like a good idea, right? What? What? It's quantum. It's all quantum. What is this? Why leave when we can go inside of it? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I live here now. That's so strange. Maybe I have to jump up it? Can I climb this? Maybe I have to climb the inside. There we go. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm totally gonna die. Oh, I can already feel my bones. Oh, God. I can see forever. What? What? I'm in the... I'm in the museum? The Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to the efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. 
Damn right we will. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. So we can't stop it. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it a deadly substance we call ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Yeah, all my homies hate anglerfish, dude. 100%. Let's read the notes first. This is the same. Yeah, it's the same as before. Whoa, okay. Okay. That isn't what I expected that to do. What? What? Oh boy. Okay. Shit's getting real weird now. That's a forest filled with galaxies. All right. You know, I've often thought about the fact that we haven't found any alien life yet that we know of. And how we are just a galaxy in a forest. I really hope there's no wolves out there. Blue ones. Oh, they're all disappearing. They're all burning out. All the galaxies are burning out. It's a shame to think that our entire universe might do this one day. The heat death of the universe. The end of everything, right? I don't like that, dude. Oh, I don't like that even a little bit, man. This thing's turning into a horror film.
Oh. Do you hear music? A banjo on its own in there. And I can't get inside it. It's playing itself, Chet. It's not good. I mean, the answer is yes. Uh, oh, it's... It's broken now. I don't believe this was broken before. I'm pretty sure this building was whole a minute ago. Indeed. All right. It's, um, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. I hate everything about that. Okay. Okay. All of his fingers up. So one. 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 All of them. But why? But why?
it's above. Oh, okay, okay. That's a little, a little spooky there, guys. Ow. Did I get it? What is this? Alright. Alright. I'm glad I ordered the THX. Very good. Very good. When I die, I want to be jettisoned into space so that I see this. If there is an afterlife, I just want this. You're dead. I remember you. Whoop. All right. If your consciousness lives on, I'd rather adventure through space on an infinite journey of discovery. No. No, you could you could eat my whole ass. Nope. I'm going to go get the other one where you're not at. Across old bark. In the ancient glade. It's always dark. Oh. Oh, wait. I should walk through it. We hate an angler fish jet. I love that shirt is just an egg, dude. I don't think I met this guy. Feldspar? Did I meet him? Gabro I met. Selenium I met. Rebic I met. Chert. Here we go. I can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Yes. Okay, I won't let you down. that I believe we've reached the end of our journey 
All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Yes. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Oh. It's so tiny. Whoa! <laughs> that was a cool perspective shift. Oh, I like that. Now that's a flashbang. Now that's a flashbang. My glass break? My glass broke. That's how you flashbang someone. That's the way to do it. Look how pale I am. Look at that. See how pale I am? So you know the flashbang is working. My whole room lit up? Same. That is a very good example of a game you can only play once. It's very rare to have a game that you can only play once, and it's very rare that you can have a game like that that reaches a wide amount of popularity, because usually people try to ruin it for each other, very commonly. And seeing all you guys in chat just posting the, the four eyes smiling face the whole time instead of spoiling stuff, it shows me that this game has quite a large community of people that appreciate it for exactly what it is. It's an experience, and that's rare in the gaming industry. It's a rare thing. It's very good. It's a very good game. <laughs> I think the only shame of it is I can never play it again. <laughs> it's very good, man. It's the best game ever made. It's a very good game. I think the only games that I felt like that from were things like The Beginner's Guide. I think the only thing I can actually explain was Beginner's Guide was probably the only one that, that feels like that. Tunic as well. Tunic and The Beginner's Guide and Outer Wilds. That's about it. You highly, highly recommend the DLC? I think we'll keep that for another stream. I think we'll do that in another stream. That was fantastic, though. It was very good. I knew everybody kept saying that this was going to be a really good game, but that was a lot better than even I, I had thought it would be. With everybody loving it so much, I, I knew it was going to be something good, but that was... That was something else, man. It was very good. Also, I hate anglerfish. I'm just going to say it right now. Anger, anglerfish can eat my entire ass. That's... That's the only one. And it, the whole game is great. Except for the... I hate the angler, anglerfish. I hate them. I hate them. My whole ass. They can eat it. They did, too. Multiple times. I've, there's so many times they did that. That was fantastic. It's rare to get a game like that, guys. It is. When you find stuff like this, support the shit out of it. Like, I've, I've been making games for 20 years. There's very few of these that come along. There's very few of them that are just a story in and of themselves. Something that's an experience over anything else. And a lot of games that are like this, especially with time loops, they overstay their welcome really hard. This one didn't. It's good. It's good. And it's funny, too, because other games have tried to do the thing of doing narrative with characters you never get to see. They've tried to do that. And it just doesn't work. And this one, it worked. Characters you'll never see. You start to learn who they are and how they interact with each other. They have a little bit of humor. They make jokes with each other. And it's just slightly different than your language. They use words a little bit differently because they're alien. And I found that very charming. 
full of whimsy. Rare. Good game. Day of tomorrow? What day is it tomorrow? Monday? Depends on the studio. Depends on what they're going to do, American. Wait, tomorrow is Tuesday? Hey, look. No, I don't think I'm going to take a day off tomorrow. I'm just going to go to bed. I normally sleep at about 3 p.m. anyway. Then I sleep till about 8. Then I get up and I work for a while. And then uh, at 1 a.m. I get on stream and I stream till about 8 a.m. Today I stream to 1.30 p.m. Normal day, man. That was honestly fantastic. It was really, really good. There were so many aha moments in that. They just felt so good. I just got so excited solving the puzzles on that. It was really nice. I love how the Eye of the Universe signal was just your friends. Because it's the only thing that matters in the whole universe. That's the point. I will definitely do that. Thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, you can't see it, but there we go. Yeah, it was a totally different race of creatures down there. Did you see that? They look like mantises. Which means this has happened many times. In fact, it happens every time. It's a loop inside of a loop. Well, guys, that was Outer Wilds. I told you I would. I told you I would, you know. And I will play the DLC, just not today. Thank you for the 100 bits, and thank you for the game. It's very nice of you. Yeah, this has been Outer Wilds. And, um... Yeah, that was, that was fantastic. It's rare that I get a game that makes me feel differently after I've played it. This is one of them. There's very few of those. I'm going to absorb that. I'm going to absorb that and do stuff with it. I'm going to make things with that. Anytime you find a game that's like this, if you ever wanted to make video games, if you ever wanted to make video games, play games like this. The moment a game makes you feel something is the moment you know how to make games. And I know that's a weird thing to say. But the first time I felt that was Secret of Mana when I was a kid. Wasn't... Thank you. I'm glad that it, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for the tier one sub. But yeah, Secret of Mana was the first game that did that for me. And from that minute on, I've wanted to make video games. And now, as an adult, I do. And there have been other games like that along the way. Secret of Mana was just the first. We had things like Earthbound, which is like, as funny as it is, WarioWare. I love WarioWare. You have stuff like all of the Mario Party games, and then after that, you know, I... Even, even games now, like Beginner's Guide. Beginner's Guide is amazing. Outer Wilds is amazing. Tunic is amazing. Players don't want gigantic corporate video games that don't have any soul with devs that don't talk to their players. They want this. A lot of them do. A lot of them do. These are the kinds of games that stick with you. And uh, I'm really happy to have played that. 
Antichamber's good too. Check out that log. There's, oh, the logo. Think about this. God, that was good. So millions of players that buy the same FIFA every year, and I wish they didn't. The ship's log? I'll check that when we play the DLC. Bioshock was the game that made me feel. The good ending got me in tears that day. It's been a long time since I felt like that for a game. Long time. I love games that somehow link to life in this grand manner. Any game can do that. Any game with story can do that. I tried everything that I can to make sure that Heartbound feels that way. For me. Because if it makes me upset, makes me feel emotional, and I'm a hardened old stone, and I know it'll work for somebody else, you know. Good music, too. Well, Wolf, the thing is, is like, you say, I know it's, a, I love how it's about starting a whole new universe, but at the end of it, it's just your friends there being together. What's the point of having the whole universe? Use your time on Earth to spend that time with other people. Have experiences. Go on adventures. Do things. Don't spend your time doom-scrolling TikTok. It's not worth it. There's a lot more out there. Whole universe of shit. Rainworld captured it somewhat for you after getting used to it. Makes sense. And cry every time you see this ending. Yeah. I could see that. I love how many different things you can get out of this game as far as meaning. It's a very easy game to project your own beliefs on. In terms of that. Good. Yeah, good game. You get a very few really good friends, if any, cherish them. It's true. see one of the stars blink out of existence there. All the ones going supernova in the back. Definitely want to watch the DLC document, uh, no clip documentary on this. I will. Are you guys memeing about the logo floating away? It's not moving. You talking about this? It's not going anywhere. You bunch of goblins. It's not moving. It is just slowly. I'm putting my mouse right there. put this here then. You say it's the D? My god. It is. It is slowly falling apart. It's not an optical illusion. It's, it's literally, you can see it on my mouse. It's slowly disintegrating. God damn. Chat wasn't lying at all. I thought Chad was lying. Chad always lies. What happened to you? 
You lie all the time, and then I play Outer Wilds and you stop lying to me? Insane. Insane. Chat loves this game. So chat doesn't lie about things that it loves? Is that what you're saying? Can't believe chat doesn't love me. It's not my birthday, and you're not lying about this, so it can't be my birthday. You've just ruined yourself. You said you only lie on my birthday? Can't be my birthday, then. Because you didn't lie. What now? What now, chat? Now you're trapped. Trapped in a trap of your own making. You've done this to yourselves. Pieces eventually go most of the way across the screen if you stay here long enough, really. It's amazing, actually. The thing is, is stuff like that is always very fun. It's... It's easy to implement. It's silly. It's not necessary. But it's good. It does cool things, you know? It's just like, it's a cool thing for players to find. 